Happy New Year, Backward Compatible listeners. This is Chris. Before we begin, I want to let you know this episode of the podcast was originally recorded during a live stream, which we've edited for Polish and Brevity. If you would like to watch the full, unedited stream, including the character introductions and rules explanations we've trimmed from our game of Fiasco, we've provided a link in the description. Enjoy the show. Are there okay. children witnessing this too? Yeah! <laughs> so they're witnessing this. Oh, yes. you, you can Christmas is canceled. <laughs> That's what happens when you're bad. This week on Backward Compatible... The crew were joined by Brian McKittrick, Will Parsons, and Sarah Wells to play a holiday-themed game of Fiasco, Roll With It style. Plus, we debut our new segment, Wishlist, with a holiday twist. The BackwardCompatible.com podcast starts right now. Well, hello, Backward Compatible listeners, and welcome to episode number 54 of the BackwardCompatible.com podcast. I'm Chris, and this is Doc. Hi. And this is Jim over here. <laughs> hello. <laughs> and we've got three guests with us today for our holiday special. We've got uh, Brian McKittrick. Hello. Will Parsons. Hello. And Sarah Wells. Hello. Guest is a strong word. <laughs> I've been here before. They've been here before, yeah. I do a lot of things here. <laughs> well, yeah. some things. Uh, and today, because it's our holiday special, one, we're doing it uh, live. Um, and I said 54. Mm-hmm. The observant ones among you might notice that we haven't released 53 yet. Uh, it's because that's going to be released first on the actual podcast. But you guys are time traveling, and you actually get to hear 54 before 53. So, Or are we time traveling? How am I in all of the time traveling episodes? It's a good question. I'm impressed by it. Though. Have the others aired yet? I don't... They're time yes, traveling they, episodes they because uh, you're here. They will have already been aired. Okay, got Soon. it. Soon. Got it. That makes sense. Uh, but today we're also doing a bit of a uh, sort of crossover with our other show, Roll With It, where we do uh, storytelling through role-playing games. Mm-hmm. And so instead of having a meaty topic of discussion, we're going to have a little bit of holiday fun and play the Poppleton Mall scenario for Fiasco. I thought that was the name uh, of it. <laughs> What's Poppleton? a Poppleton? A Poppleton Good Mall. Good question. I think we'll figure that, that out as like we play. Okay. Uh, but Fiasco is a game by... It's um, a dessert. <laughs> no, it's it's an eighties toy. The yeah, it's popples. Stuff, stuff yeah, oh. the popples, of yeah. course. They, they turn inside out. Yes. Yeah. Don't are, try that with your Are we all popples? Okay. We're not human characters. we we'll, we're popples. No, that's a different fiasco <laughs> playset. Okay. I've, I've actually seen yeah. that one. It's yeah. called Small Things. <laughs> uh, but it's a uh, fiasco is a game by Bully Pulpit Games and it's uh, kind of like Coen Brothers films. You have ordinary people with lots of big ambitions and very poor impulse control, and things are going to go terribly, terribly wrong before the end, so it's bound to be lots of fun. Uh, Before we get started with that, we're going to go ahead and do our opening segments, backward compatible style, and we'll start out with the button mosh. Get ready for the button mosh, where the crew jumps in on the video games they've been rocking lately. So, guests, what have you guys been uh, playing recently? Well, let's go first. I can. Okay. Um, actually, most of what I've been playing is a really, really delayed game called Rodea Sky Knight, or Sky Soldier. I don't really remember which name it is, because the first time I heard it, it was one way, and they changed it. I'm pretty sure it's Sky Soldier. It's Sky Soldier. Yeah, now. yeah, we talked a little okay. bit about it. Yeah, um, originally it was What system Knight. are you playing on, by the way? Wii. Wii, okay. Yeah, I got, I actually pre-ordered it, so I got all, I got both copies of it. Um, highly recommend the Wii version over the Wii U version. Uh, the Wii U version looks really nice mm. and plays horribly. Oh, wow. Uh, partly yeah. because what they did... The game was actually finished... Uh, was, this is 2015? Mm-hmm. Like 2012, 2011, I think. Um, so you time-traveled back to get the game. No. And then took it forward. No, that's the time. problem. So, um, <laughs> Yuji Naka had finished development, shipped it off to... Uh, I can't remember the name of the studio. But the 3DS had just come out, and so they were porting it across... During that, the Wii U came out, so they ported the 3DS port across to it and released that. Mm. It's not great. So the game got delayed for all those years. So the 3DS port you also would not recommend? Uh, It's better than the Wii U port, but it was designed to be played on the Wii. It was designed for the Wii, and that's how it plays best. Um, The interface is a lot of fun. Uh, Take This is an action action game? You haven't described the game yet? It's kind of a... It's kind of a... It's like Knights in a 3D world. So the 3D stages in Knights. Oh, okay. Mm. All of that. You use the, the targeting sensor on the on the Wiimote, 
aim for your target, and you do parabolic arcs to fly mm-hmm. through it. So you're jumping. A little bit like Rystar, if anyone's played mm-hmm. that. I think I've um, seen it a little bit, yeah. I play more Rystar than I have Knights, to be honest. Yeah. It's a little more like Rystar. Mm-hmm. To get a good speed going, you have to keep arcing and moving through it. The only issue that I've had with it, um, the Japanese voice dub on my copy of the disc lags in a few places, which is kind of sad. Uh, and I cannot physically hold my arm up at the screen. I've got my TV set wrong. So I'm doing this for an hour or two, and that's how all the control works. That's, that's just exercise. Just switch yeah. hands when, you, when you're ready. <laughs> yeah. You're going to come yeah. in here, you're going to have like these massive forearms. Yeah, and basically. Your shoulders are going to be up to here. So that's, that's sadly really my only complaint about it. Um, the storyline is average, mm. but it's more about the gameplay, because Yuji Naka, his games are more centered around... Uh, what game mechanic is he now, using? Now, for those that, that may not know the name or are thinking, like, who is that guy? You want to tell us who yeah. Yuji Naka so is? So, he's most famous for Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. He's the original <laughs> programmer right. for Sonic right. the Hedgehog. He's not the artist who designed Sonic the Hedgehog, he's the programmer yeah. for the game. And he also did Knights, too, didn't yes. he? Yes. Yeah. So he made Knights, and this game is a little... It's closer to Knights. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of carryover to it. The same principle of he, you're playing as an android that might have been a bad guy... Mm-hmm. Is not now that kind of a thing. Does he do all the character design too? No, he doesn't. His games. Um, I'm curious because his games tend to have these kind of like weird characters in them. He doesn't. I know that with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, Sonic was actually designed by a guy, and I'm going to butcher the pronunciation on the name, so I apologize. Uh, Naoto Oshima. Mm -hmm. Um, He did the design. He also did the design for Blinks the Cat and a few other. He's a pretty popular designer. You mean um, Blaze, I think? No, Blinks. Blinks? Blinks the oh, guy that's, from that's the right. time, yeah. Blinks, time games, whatever yeah. they're called. It's like the Poochie um, of, of his yeah. portfolio. So he doesn't, <laughs> like, he doesn't, um, he doesn't design the characters himself every time. Yeah. But he does programming, and uh, the Probe Studio, I think that's how you pronounce the name of that, is his studio. Independently, it's an independent studio that got in under um, Sega's uh, subsidy. They were subsidizing indie studios, trying to get more game companies out there. And that was one of them that got subsidized. They mostly have done mobile games. This is their first major console game. Um, and it's worth a play. It's, it's enjoyable. Um, I like it. And like I mentioned on a few other times, it is actually a brand new intellectual property. And we cannot have enough brand new intellectual properties. I no, it's good. I, there's a lot, and, and part of that too. Whenever I see people complain about, oh yeah, there's just too many, too many remakes in gaming. I think part of that is because people just aren't looking for the new properties. Yeah. There's a lot that come out. I mean, any given year, you see a ton of them. And sure, sometimes it's not. Sometimes the games are not worth going through. But there's a lot of new, new properties. Um, there's a, there's a couple of, of pretty cool games that I've been looking at. Um, some JRPGs on the 3DS that have come out recently. They're both also new properties. Uh, like, like, what is it? Um, Legend of Legacy, something like that. Have you heard of that? Is that the name of it? It's, yeah, I think so. It's yeah. by the same. It's by the people that did the um, Saga games, mm-hmm. romancing Saga games. Um, so, and it's a new a new property. There's um, uh, tons of stuff on. I know both the 3ds, the 3ds especially, has been getting a lot of these sort of sort 3DS of new games. 3ds is really good for brand new mm-hmm. uh, brand new properties, which is kind of why I like it. Yeah. Um, okay, well, let's move right along, Sarah. Do you have any game that you've been playing recently you want to talk about? <laughs> well, um, I've been finding a hold for several weeks, and most of my time actually goes to my graphic novels, so mm. as much as I love gaming. Um, but I do have one that I recently got that I'm really excited to play, mm. um, and it's called The Machine of Death. And uh, it's, it's based actually off of a short story collection, uh, the premise of which is... Uh, you give this machine a sample of your blood, and it gives you a card and tells you how you're going to die. Uh, it's just one word or phrase. It may or may not be very clear. So, like, if it says old age, maybe you live to be, like, 96, or maybe you get run over by an old woman who fell asleep at the wheel. And <laughs> is, it, is, this a, is this, like, a narrative, like, this like text adventure, or...? Well, it's actually a card game. Okay, card game. So, uh, basically, because this machine exists... Uh, in the in the world of the game, uh, assassinations have become challenging. You have to take someone's death prediction into account, or you will fail to assassinate them. So, using a combination of black market gift cards and uh, basically beating the dice, you uh, come up with these crazy, ridiculous schemes to kill your target based on their death prediction. Mm. And uh, there's like 
it, it's it's focused on the storytelling. So there's like a lot of collaboration. Like you figure out, okay, you're a, you're a team of assassins working on these different targets, and if you succeed in killing four people, you win. If you lo- if you fail to kill one of them, you lose. But um, but yeah, like the example in the in the book talks about like, okay, so this guy's gonna die by fire. Okay, so let's build a brick wall around him, fill it up, you know, and then they try, they try, let's see, they try gasoline first, but that doesn't work, and then they switch to napalm, and then finally they wind up just having a flying saucer abduct him and drop him on uh, the Olympic torch somewhere, (laughs) which actually makes sense when you, like, read through it and look at the cards. It actually makes total sense. So, um, so this is a violent game. It's violent very, game. very. There's very a variation much. where you take some of the cards and um, you play with like kind of an apples to apples cards against humanity mechanic. Mm. Only you're all psychopaths and you're trying to decide how to kill your hostages, like whose hostage is going to die mm. <laughs> by by submitting the death cards. So it's yeah, it is it is somewhat violent, but also very silly. Do you know who put this game out? Uh, yes. Um, well, Wondermark is uh, the con- it's like a an online web comic. Uh, David Malpe, Ryan North, and the guy who does uh, Nedroid Picture Diary are the main ones. And then they got a bunch of other web comic artists together, and that's they've got some scenarios that like they got people to contribute. Okay, cool. So. Was this like a through a Kickstarter project, or it was okay. through Kickstarter originally? But uh, I bought it actually uh, at a local store here. So how recent is that? Because I read all those Two comics years. and I haven't I haven't heard of this like ever. The original short story collection came out. Uh, I want to say 2000, 2011 or two thousand ten. Huh. The game mm-hmm. was a few years later. <laughs> so yeah, I I keep planning to bring it on Saturday and then being sick. So yeah, but cool. Yeah. Sounds interesting, actually. My I'm turn, looking Ryan. Today. Your turn. Yep. <laughs> you have uh, plenty of time to think. Um, I haven't been able to play many games to, lately, um, though one game, which was also a Kickstarter, uh, Darkest Dungeon, which is one that I wasn't initially interested in because I'm not a huge fan of turn-based RPGs, mm-hmm. but, um, it, it quickly grew on me. Um, it's more, it's less about the turn-based combat and more about management of what you have and what you, what you you basically have to take the lumps you are handed and have to deal with setbacks. Is this is this the first person dungeon crawler? No, no okay. That's Grimrock. That's okay. different. Maybe I'm think mixing it up with another. Um, Darkest Dungeon is where you inherit a essentially a, a manor that has fallen into a, a state of decay that has corrupted the surrounding countryside because mm-hmm. your ancestor who gave Opened it a portal to hell. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> or yeah, I've I played this. It's yeah. a good game. Um, and so you have to clear it out of the eldritch abominations that have infested it um, by hiring adventurers that come seeking glory, uh, usually find death. Um, and there's like 10, 10 or nine different classes now. They just added one a few weeks ago. Hmm. Uh, each uh, that have specific abilities and skills that make them best suited for certain roles and where that you position them. Um, every, char- every character can have four skills equipped um, and you can only use each skill has a specific position in the in the row and target. So if you're standing in the front, you can only use skills that allow you to use them from the front. And so certain characters are best suited to standing in front of the everyone else and getting hit. How many characters are in your four. party then? Four. Okay. But you can hire more up to at max upgrades. I think you can get twenty five. But how many do you use in, in battle at one time? Four. Just four. Mm-hmm. Okay. You just swap them out based on. Your oh case. no! You have a line. They're lined up. Four, five, uh, four, three, two, one, and then the enemy is on the other side. Um, and so each of them are specifically tailored to fit uh, uh, what kind of enemy you fight and where you fight them in. And uh, so like the Crusader is one that's best in, in the front lines, and he has a lot of abilities that hit the front two enemy slots. While like... Um, Someone like the Jester is very interesting where his moves actually move his position. So he slides back and forth as he uses his abilities, which mm-hmm. is really fun. Because mm-hmm. there's one that pushes him to the front of the line, and one he can only use in the front of the line that does a ton of damage. Nice. And so it's a combination. Um, there's a, the main... The, the secondary mechanic to just health... All characters have health. 
They also have another bar of, um, I think it's stress. Yeah, stress. Yeah, that goes up to two hundred. When it hits a hundred, uh, characters have to test their resolve, um, which is a hidden dice roll, and they often fail. And, yeah, <laughs> uh, and when they fail, they develop an affliction, which is usually something that causes more stress for other party members or prevents them from taking actions because they are paranoid, cowardly, or uh, masochistic and desire getting hit. Sometimes, and there are ways to improve the chances of this happening, but sometimes they will stand in the face of adversity and get stronger. Uh, they will develop a virtue, which only lasts until the end of, a, of the dungeon you're in, but it gives them a lot, it gives them extra stress resistance, improves the resistance of their com- uh, comrades, and gives them buffs sometimes. Um, so managing the stress levels of your party is really important, because once they hit 100, usually it's a bad thing, once they hit 200, they have a chance of instantly dying from a heart attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, it used to be, once they hit 200, they just die permanently, mm-hmm. uh, but now they've changed it to be a, uh, there's a ticking time bomb now. Okay. Uh, and when they hit zero hit points, they don't immediately die. Uh, they are at the uh, death, death door. Yes. Mm-hmm. And if they get hit again, then there's a die. chance. Mm-hmm. So how is the... Because I, I just looked it up because I was curious. I was thinking of a different game. But um, I noticed the art style was very has this very like dark kind of inked tone, like mm-hmm. very, very dark colors. Yeah, that's very it. deliberate, yeah. Um, yeah, so what do you think about... Because, I mean, I just flipping through, I was like, hey, this is a pretty beautiful game. But I think the art's really... Uh, I think the, the art does a lot to set the tone mm-hmm. uh, beyond just what the mechanics do. Because the mechanics make you feel like, okay, should I push ahead or pull out because everyone's stressed out, I'm at half health on everyone, I don't have any healing abilities, I can't, can I really finish this mission or should I leave? Because leaving, I don't get any rewards, I get half the stuff I would have picked up, and everyone gets a ton of stress. Um, and the, t- the, the, the art style just immerses you in it almost. It makes you... I've spent too many hours in one long stretch playing that game. Like, oh, what time does it... Oh, <laughs> I should go to bed. <laughs> That's how you know you found a game that you really enjoy, though. Mm-hmm. That's good. It that sounds like you, you're enjoying it quite a bit. And the developers are really good about um, listening to feedback, too. They, they're, they've they been constantly patching and updating it uh, from what I've seen. So that's, that's, that's a good relationship to have with your players. And this is a PC game? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is Wishlist, our most anticipated games that are either unreleased or we haven't had a chance to play. Our new segment that we're going to be debuting today is called Wishlist. Um, and basically it's where we're going to be talking about not games we've been playing, but games that are coming out soon that we're looking forward to and why and that sort of thing. But we're also going to put a little twist on it this time because it's the Christmas season um, and Hanukkah season and Kwanzaa season and all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, the giving of gifts. And so we're going to sort of pose the question here today. What games are either out or coming out soon that you think would make good gifts for different types of gamers or people that you actually intend to give a gift to? Um, also, I mean, the first thing that came to mind, I'll kind of you know hit both points here. Um, I've been really looking forward to uh, Persona 5 for a while, because mm-hmm. I was a big fan of, pers- of the Persona series. It's a uh, Japanese RPG, RPG series. Um, typically, you're um, both a high school character, and you have, but you're also dealing with um, essentially demons, and everyone has their own sort of persona, which is like this um, kind of a demonic personification of you know, your true self, that kind of thing. Um, it's The gameplay is kind of a mix between a um, high school like life simulation but also a dungeon crawler mm-hmm. so it kind of bridges multiple genres you basically have to fit your dungeoneering into your daily life yes which is kind of awesome yeah it's very it's it's a very different sort of game and I, I really got into persona 4 so i've been looking forward to persona 5 for a while kept getting pushed back and it should be coming i believe in february is what i i heard 2016 understood. i'm not sure when exactly okay. but yeah no, i may have made up february but i think that's about <laughs> when it's coming um and then for you know wish list for someone else um Oh, geez. I probably would look at, um, well, I actually could see Persona 5. I could see my sister wanting Persona 5 as well. So that might be something that I could look at. Look at. Um, also, possibly the upcoming, that I'm not sure about. I'll have to probably think about that one and cool. get back to you. Yeah, if you think of anything, go ahead and chime, back, mm-hmm. chime on in. Uh, as for myself, I know that a gift I'm trying to uh, get for someone, my uh, brother and I are going to pitch in to buy our niece uh, Yoshi's Woolly World. Um, oh, that's good. Because I actually yeah. bought her the... Uh, we've been getting her slowly into Mario, and she's a big fan of Yoshi. 
Um, and so we got one of those like little plushy did, little. What? I'm a little confused. Mm-hmm. Yoshi, does what kind of sound is that? Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. The, the music in that game is is too placid. It's mm-hmm. I my roommate picked it, picked it up and mm-hmm. we tried playing co-op and it's just you can't. Easy listening Muzak. <laughs> the whole game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just... I, I didn't even know there was a co-op mode. Yeah, there is. You can both play at the same time. It's great. It's mm. less zany than the Mario Brothers games that they've been doing, but still fun. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the whole reason we're trying to get that is because we got the little uh, plushy uh, yarn amiibo Yoshi. Oh, yeah. I saw um, that. Which is cool because it's not like the typical statue on a stand. It's like a little mm. plush doll. Uh, with the Amiibo scanner in it, but it was funny because we bought the Amiibo first, and now we're getting the game to go with it. So I think it's kind of reverse of what it was meant to be, um, although I figured Nintendo marketed it intentionally so that it could go both ways. It's a lot of people that buy those Amiibos that don't even get a game that mm-hmm. you could possibly be compatible with. I know people that buy them that don't even have a Wii U either. Yeah. So. Yeah, the, it's, I mean, because they're nice little figurines. Yeah, they're not exactly. like super fancy, but for the price, they're actually pretty nice. Mm-hmm. So good collectibles. What Lock. are you looking forward to yourself? Uh, that's a good question. Um, at some point, I want to grab um, Star Wars Battlefront and the newest Need for Speed. Uh, both of those I'm probably going to wait until a price drop because I don't think I care to buy them or make someone else buy them at full price. Yeah. But um, I am going to check those out at some point, probably. And Persona 5. That one's... You're also looking forward yeah, to Persona very, 5? very hyped about yeah. Persona 5. Is that going to be harder than Persona 4? Because Persona 4 stressed me out, man. I couldn't... It, it's, about halfway it's through, I couldn't keep going. <laughs> it's, it, it's a hard game. I, I just love some of the dungeon uh, design that they had. It was pretty interesting. I love the, the dungeon that was set up like a, um, like old-school retro pla- um, dungeon crawler. So it very much had, like, um, everything was pixelated, and it felt like a... You're this, you're this hero. It was kind of based... I guess it was sort of a Dragon Quest-inspired, that kind of thing. Nice. Kind of a parody of all that. Um, it's one of the later dungeons, though. It's like, I, I want to say maybe the second from last. Uh, so you kind of have to get pretty deep before you get to it. But each of them kind of had their own theme. Um, I loved how the dungeon was kind of focused on at the end, getting the character that you're, that you're helping to kind of come to some realization about themselves. And so you really learn a lot, a lot more about your... Um, party members than you do in some other games, and they're doing that in five. <laughs> well, in that's five kind as well. Of, it's kind of a theme of Persona, so okay. I would assume so. I've only played four, yeah. so it's just mm-hmm. half of four. Mm-hmm. Four was awesome. Um, it was if it was just the difficulty, I would probably recommend to first timers um, just play through on easy or casual mode. It wasn't um, the difficulty; it was the stress of having oh. to balance the fact oh, right, that yeah. none of my friends wanted to hang out with each other, <laughs> so I had to pick one. Okay, and I also had to keep my grades up. And yes, then I also had yeah. to go in the team. You know, and die. Yeah. It's like this is getting a little bit too and, real and, right now. And you had to you had to maintain a job, and you yeah. had to go. I mean, it was it's. I, it's I kind of love that. <laughs> it was great, but I hit a point where they. If there's always a point in visual novels and things like that where someone comes up to me and says, "Decide this," mm. and it splits the game, mm. and I can't. And I just I lock up. And I can't, and I go and I play a different game. Hmm. I, I got to say that game also had some. It had it had a pretty pretty gruesome pretty nasty twist that kind of hits you as well. You know, I don't want to spoil everything, but yeah, I haven't hit that one yet. Um, it's it, it definitely. Uh, I know I'm sure Chris knows what I'm talking about, but yeah, it, it was. There's there's a point in the game where it's a little hard to kind of keep going, but um, okay, Doc, do you have any game that you you have on your wish list or a wish list for someone else? On, on my wish list. On your wish list. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, I actually want to pick up Battlefront. Battlefront. Um, that's the only thing that that I even put on my Christmas list, video mm-hmm. game wise. Um, I, I, I've been gushing, just gushing about, um, Fallout, so I, I, I won't talk about that anymore. <laughs> well, it can't <laughs> but, be on your wish list, you're already playing it. Exactly, that's exactly right. The um, season pass, maybe? Well, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end up doing, well, no, I already bought the season pass, oh, okay. actually, now that I think about the it. The official strategy guide, then? Uh, yeah, I have that, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, just, sorry. Uh, a, a replica, uh, power armor suit? There you go. There you you want to give me that. That's <laughs> Um, but no, actually, the, the gamer that I buy for the most often um, is my dad. And he's uh, 65-ish years old, but, you know, he he has probably logged more hours of Grand Theft Auto than me, <laughs> you know, all, all said and done. And he is an even bigger Assassin's Creed fan than I am. Um, so the problem is that I would get him the new Assassin's Creed Syndicate, but he already has it. Yeah. Um, you know, and and, mm. and the funny thing is, he's the reason why um, I was able to play it early, early access, mm-hmm. uh, because he he lives in kind of a small town and he shares my card because uh, they don't care. And so <laughs> when he when he registers a game, 
Uh, it shows up on my account. So they called me and were like, hey, we see you're a really big fan. You want to come to a thing? And I'm like, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, in fact, we got we got that free swag, you know, because yeah. I got the I got the. I was going to say, you could have given him, like, the gauntlet. You yeah. Know, the, he, blade. the funny thing is, I actually I actually gave that away at Halloween mm-hmm. to a friend of mine's kid. Mm-hmm. And my dad came the very next week. He's like, all right, show me the gauntlet. <laughs> I'm like, oh, um, I kind of oh, gave it away. You, you what? <laughs> But you made a young boy very happy. I did. <laughs> oh, that's why he probably didn't even know what he was getting. Twelve-year-old's Halloween, so, so sixty-dollar value as MSRP. Nice. Wow. Uh, but he's no, got it in his closet somewhere. Yeah, under yeah. That's like MSRP. Emphasis no, on the he wears it yeah, right, every yeah. day to school. He loves it. Oh, so he's a what, really popular kid then. What I tend to do is to uh, to, to re-up Dad's uh, PS Plus subscription. Oh, that works um, for Christmas. So, it's not that good. Dad, if you're listening to this, um, that's not what you're getting at all. At all. Except it is. Except <laughs> it might be. Are you getting any games for Ian? Uh, no, he, he's not quite to that stage yet. We download the free iPad stuff and he just goes squee, so. Aww. It's more of a shriek, really. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Squee's cuter, well. though. So we'll pretend. It, it's an it's a onomatopoeia that sounds cute, but actually is horrifying in practice. Mm-hmm. The cat believes so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, especially since he does it at the cat most often. Oh, yes. Yes, directly cat scream. Anyway, um, so how you guys? Yeah. Well, um, I already did some Christmas shopping in terms of games. So my cousins are just starting to get their weird game collection together, ah. which is fantastic. Like I was telling them different things at the store the other day. We were at Madness and like, okay, so this is Pandemic, this is Catan, this is Arkham Horror, and just what all those things are. And they wound up getting their first ever copy of Settlers of Catan, which is great. And for Christmas. I thought it might be nice to uh, just some simple card games because I also introduced uh, I also introduced them to Love Letter and Sushi Go on Thanksgiving. Yes, good stuff. So, so they already got those, <laughs> but um, Eleven Z's and Lords of Scotland I don't think they have yet, but they will. Lords of Scotland. So, so yeah, so those are gonna be fun. Cool. Well, I didn't know we were talking about table talk stuff because uh, that's a whole different list. <laughs> Wait, what? Now? I, mean, I have my maybe hold off now. Yeah, I have my I have my Christmas list and then I have my board games that I want list. That's I a separate still thing. yeah. I still really want to play that one where you're talking to that space guy Taylor and trying to keep him alive on another planet. Oh, Lifeline. Life. 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 Yeah. Yeah. I want to play that. You'll like the sequel too. Ooh. Yeah. I do yeah, that one's pretty easy. Yeah. You just I think it's still only a couple of bucks. Yeah, right? Lifeline's yeah. like a dollar. Yeah. I should probably get it, but then I. Have, it's actually it, it doesn't take too long to play through, especially because no, no. you do it in like five minute chunks, if even. That so. might be the like the only thing I would actually have time for. Mm-hmm. There you which go. it's a perfect snacking game. That may yeah. be what winds up happening. So, um, so on my own wish list, sure. Star Fox Zero. Oh yeah, oh, doesn't need, doesn't yeah. need explanation. Yeah. It just I'm a huge Star Fox Star Fox fan. Star Fox. Yeah, I nearly said Star Fox. Um, huge, huge. Yeah. Huge Star Fox fan. I've played every game. I've got every game. I still uh, hits me right there when I finish Star Fox sixty four every time. I'm just it's one of my favorite mm-hmm. game series of all time. Um, do you because do some people I noticed or some fans had some concern that there were um, there was ground as well, like ground vehicles. What do you think about that? I enjoyed Star Fox Command. I enjoyed Star Fox Adventures. I enjoyed Star Fox Assault. Yes, the ground missions will be annoying. I will still have fun playing the game. So I like, I like how you you just automatically are like, yeah, the ground missions will be annoying. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they're they're not my thing. Like, the tank mission in Star Fox sixty four is great. It's fun, but it's one. It's only one level. I don't know. I kind of I kind of trust the developers. There are very few Star Fox games. Um, even the unreleased Lilat Wars is kind of fun, even though it's glitchy and buggy. Um, they're they're all fun. It just doesn't matter. They, what I like about it is the fact that it's not a sequel. It's not a prequel. It's just, guys, Star Fox exists. Here's a new Star Fox story. Who cares what else has been done? We're making this again. It's not a remake of Star Fox 64. It's not a sequel. It's not a pre- It's just a Star Fox game. Yeah. And you, I love that concept. I mean, you could say that about a lot of Nintendo series, though. Like, Legend yeah. of Zelda does the same thing. Except Zelda has X a timeline. Yeah. yeah, but not really. No, but really. It, it really no, does have a timeline. Hold on a Officially second. Officially stayed canon. 
Hold on a second, though. It doesn't really, though. Because when you're playing a game, it's not like this is now the sequel like you were talking about to a previous Zelda game. It's not presented that way. No, they do. Yes, there is an official timeline, but you were talking about sequels, and that's not the way the games are presented. Right. It doesn't depend on the other games. Correct. It was retconned. They they are presented as separate separate entities that were later retconned as part of a part of a whole timeline, which is fine. I see oh, what you're saying occasionally about that, they did say that they were sequels. Like Majora's Mask was a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time. Yeah, Phantom Hourglass and uh, there, Spirit Tracks. Yes, mm. there are a couple of exceptions, but for the most part, when the, the series is presented... Yeah. No, Wind Waker was never presented as a sequel. Well, it, it, it was the that very least... True. It did at the very least refer back to the Hero of Time. Mm-hmm. Sure, yes. of course. But and, they, they and that's part of the s- legend. They had to split it into multiple timelines Yes, in order for that to even work. Right. But I love that. <laughs> no, no, I, I love think, that concept. I'm, I'm yeah. just saying this. It's, it's kind of the same awesome. thing with Mario too. You don't see like Mario going, "Oh yeah, hey, remember that time when like we entered the Dream World and fought Big Boss War?" I mean, it, it doesn't. Well, really, the reason yeah. they don't do it is because like, hey, remember that time when we rescued Peach from Bowser? Oh, and that other time, yeah. and that other time, <laughs> and that other time. Uh, if I were going to buy a game, <laughs> if I were going to buy a game for somebody else right now, <laughs> Freedom Planet, uh, really by Galaxy Trail. Hmm. Uh, the year that that came out is my favorite game that they re- that came out that year. Oh, it's um, because it's a Sonic game. It's not a Sonic game. <laughs> it is a, so- it's a Sonic No, no, no. It's inspired by 1990s Genesis Sega Genesis action platforms. Which you love. Yes. Also and not it's Sonic. Like, in general. No, because there's yeah, exactly. elements of it from Rystar, there's yeah. elements of Gunstar Heroes, there's mm-hmm. elements of Vector Man, Sparkster, all these great games, these great concepts mm-hmm. in what's basically a new Sega Genesis game. Mm-hmm. They did a very good job putting it together. The controls are really, really finely tuned. Mm. And it just it holds up well. Mm-hmm. I actually went and bought an adapter for my Sega Saturn controller so I can play the game off of Steam on my Sega Saturn controller. Oh, nice! It's great. Very it's cool. cool. It works really, really well. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah. Cool. Maybe anyone else want to add to this before we move on? Well, I haven't. I haven't said anything about well, my wish. Well, then say something. Well, now you have a chance to <laughs> add up. something. Oh, <laughs> I don't usually ask for games for Christmas because I don't usually think. I don't decide what I want for Christmas until someone starts bugging me to do it. Santa Claus <laughs> is watching this right now. Um, yeah. uh, yes, watching. actually, she Absolutely. is. And, 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 yeah. Sa- and Santa, can, <laughs> 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 I like it. And uh, Santa can um, feel free to join the conversation at hashtag holiday compatible or on the YouTube live chat. And she doesn't have a Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, but I think what I'm most excited for, not a video game, but um, what a game that's. Kickstarter got successfully back, um, eventually it will come out, uh, is Fellowship, which I've mentioned, I don't think I've mentioned on the podcast, but I've t- uh, talked to you guys about, mm. which is a Powered by the Apocalypse um, system that is about uh, forming a fellowship of, of people who, by creating their characters, define the culture and society they come from and what they're fighting for. And the GM is a uh, evil overlord who is whose intentions are to destroy, take over, corrupt, change the world the heroes know, the Fellowship knows. Um, And what I love about it is that built into the game's rules is that the, the, the Overlord is there to be a threat, but they will never win. Mm -hmm. And which is a great way to set up, I think conflict for the, uh, for the party Without making it a us versus the GM. Mm. It's not like this hopeless, like, we're going to have a total party wipe and the story's going to be over and we lost. No, mm-hmm. it, it is possible to lose party members. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, there's still possible ways to, to die, but it's not the end of the story or the Fellowship if they do. Mm-hmm. I mean, in Fellowship of the Rings, uh, Boromir dies, mm-hmm. but the Fellowship... Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> that book's only been how old? Well, they wrote a book yeah. about it? Yeah, I know. But Smeagol kills Dumbledore. Yes. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. <laughs> that happens, yeah. Uh-huh. That sounds about right. But did I get the double the Dobby avenges on? him <laughs> Sorry. and eats the ring. Yes, that too. But the fellowship still continues on even after it's split and loses members. Which uh, I, I I'm really looking forward to the finished product. Um, uh, I don't know what's going to come now. It's sometime next year, um, but it comes from a, a group of people who who create a lot of different interesting indie games. Uh, most of them powered by the apocalypse that, that I, I find interesting. As for what I would re- recommend for someone else for Christmas, um, I'd probably... It depends on the person. Mm-hmm. I would get Undertale for my friend Tony, but he's already bought it. So I would probably get him Infinifactory to drive him insane. 
because it is a game of <laughs> it is space chem, which is a game about setting up logic loops and gates to manipulate atoms and into forming new compounds, which drove me insane. It's the same thing in in three D, mm. which is mind boggling and hard. Very cool. All right. Well, I think that does it for our wish list segment for now. So we'll go into transition into our. Uh, Main event for the evening, which is our uh, Poppleton Mall fiasco. Welcome to Roll With It, the show where the backward compatible crew and their guests tell improvised stories through role playing games. Okay, I'm going to set up my scene. Okay. It's going to be in Santa's throne room, because that's my location. Um, and oh, I, I Yes, <laughs> and I'm, I'm patrolling Santa's throne room, and I'm, very, I'm keeping, a, keeping a sharp eye out for Stitch, that horrible vandal that just, you know, he keeps, com- keeps coming out around and messing up my mall. So I'm going to try to protect Santa at all, and the throne room itself at all costs, because this display... This display is, is, is what's going to help. Like if I, do, if I do good on this display, I might be able to, or protecting this display, um, there's a chance I might be able to get a raise. I might be able to go up to seven fifty an hour. <laughs> so I'm, 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 I have anything to say about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to prove, prove to my boss that I'm, I'm, so, um, I'm so deserving of this raise that it just it humiliates him. Because he, uh, he just, let's see, he, um, he doesn't believe in me. He doesn't have faith in Buck. So I'm going to prove that Buck can pull it off. Gotcha. That's because Buck hasn't found faith for himself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I guess I'm patrolling the Santa's throne. So that's my scene. I'm setting. Up, that's the scene. So what else do I need to say? Anything else related? Uh, to it's it? very. This is very improv driven. So okay. like you can sort of say what you're up to, or if you're saying anything, okay, what you can bring in characters if you want. Sure. Well, what I'm up to, I, I'm assuming Santa's sitting there on his uh, throne, and he's got some you know elf helpers wa- wandering around, and Thanks. so. And, yeah, and, I'm, and I am I, there's like I'm sure a long line of kids prepared to see Santa. So I'm standing um, up near the front of the line, uh, making sure or making sure that the kids that come in are not causing getting too unruly, causing a mess. If they step out of line, <laughs> old Buck's got to send them to the back. You know, stay stay single file, stay ready. Um, but I'm also kind of you know keeping shifty, glancing around out of the corner of my eye to, just to be on the lookout for Stitch because he might try to uh, ruin my day. Okay, um, so I'm actually behind the the throne, <laughs> um, climbing it up on top, and and the big sign that says um, Santa's workshop or Santa's throne, um, I'm, I'm actually going to to tag it and change it so that it says something else. This um, has to be something pro Santa, or or you know we're gonna have to have a talk. Okay. <laughs> You know. So many talks in the past. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, see, they're charging these kids to go to, to Santa. This is one oh, of those malls. that's just so messy. I know. It's like 20 bucks wow. to, to get your picture with Santa, and, and mm. that's, that's, this isn't the real Santa. Yeah. Hey, he's, he's a it's poser. True. You gotta make it's a living. True. You gotta make I just, a living. You know, I have to watch out for you, because you know, I want to help you get up from the rank of reindeer to also be an elf. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it so that it doesn't say Santa's throne. It actually mm-hmm. says Satan's throne. Because... <laughs> <laughs> This is the work of the devil. <laughs> um, the real meaning of Christmas is free stuff for all the kids, because that's what Santa's message is. Not charge the kids. Wait, for all the kids, not just for the naughty kids? I mean, the nice kids? Well, you know, the, 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 nice the richer kids. kids do get better toys, but there's a reason for it. Um, <laughs> Cult secrets. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, no, it's... It, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up there. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tag it. I, I'm ready. Okay, so we're gonna explain. With black, black spray paint. So I'm, I'm still looking around, trying to see, trying to make sure that Stitch doesn't cause a mess. But I don't have eyes in the back of my head, and I'm not too bright. So I'm not. I, I'm. I, I think he can't. Surely he hasn't gotten past me because he can't. Because I've been watching this line in the front entrance like a hawk. There's no way he could have gotten behind me. So I know that it's safe back there. So I'm so as I'm as I'm focused on these kids, 
uh, one of these punks tries to step out of line. He tries to cut. And you don't cut when Buck's on the job, all right? So I stop. I say, kid, hey, yo, yo, kid, stop right there. Criminal scum, what? get to the back of the line. What? Back of the line. <laughs> Robo <Robo-cut. laughs> yeah. Robo mall. But yeah. <laughs> suddenly the kid, the kid start, the kid starts laughing. Kid looks up. So I'm grabbing the kid. He looks up. He starts chuckling. And then a couple other kids start laughing. And I'm like, Hey, don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at Buck. But they're not laughing at me. What are they laughing at? What are they laughing at, Stitch? Uh, they're laughing at the fact that I just uh, finished off my sign. Mm-hmm. And then moved on to the big face of Santa that's there and put horns on him too. A mustache? Oh yeah. A big Hitler <laughs> mustache. So I so I turn around as they're laughing because they've they've gotten my attention now and I'm like, what is what's the, all this ruckus about? So I turn around and I see I see the handiwork of Stitch. I go, Oh Stitch! I know it's him. I, I, I assume he's not there anymore. I assume you no, I managed down, to... Right? Yeah, you hear the skateboard down. going. But I know it's him. I'm, I'm convinced that Stitch has done it. I'm like, you rascal! So I guess I go I go running off to go see if I can find Stitch. And we'll call that a scene. All right. I think I'm going to establish a scene with Buck after he failed to prevent this disruption in the atrium. So this is in my office. Mm-hmm. Buck, this is the, uh, what is it, fifth fifth time that I've had to call you in here to discuss your, um, um, I, won't, I don't, I don't want to use the word failure to do your duties, but uh, it certainly seems like uh, the Christmas spirit hasn't been uh, maintained in this mall. So uh, Buck is standing there. I've got my I got my my mall security cap uh, off. So I'm kind of like you know shuffling it in my hands. <laughs> uh, I'm I, I'm really I'm really sorry, Mr. Kristoff. I I'm I, I'm trying. Christopher Lewayen Edwards. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Uh, Christopher uh, Lie- Lieyard, uh Lieyard Eddie. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm trying my best though. That I, I tell you, I'll catch him next time. I'll catch that stitch next time. He's got it coming. And when I catch him, I'm going to lock him up inside mall jail. <laughs> we do not have a mall jail. Well, okay, we don't have a mall jail, but maybe we can, we can start Does a mall jail. Does have a mall jail secretly? Look, Probably. I think it's about time you need to start looking for other avenues of advancement. Start, at this point, Christopher, like, leans over and, like, like puts his arm around you. He's like... <laughs> Have you ever considered volunteering at a church or, or a soup kitchen or something? Or, oh, you mean like as a, as a mall cop? As a soup cop? Yes. <laughs> a church cop? That's a start. That's a good start. <laughs> Not what I had in mind, My but... My parents' church does have a security that's the thing we can do. I, Hey, at, at, a, at a soup kitchen, I know a lot of those, 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 those people, those kind of people, they cut in front of lines. They don't know how to stay in lines. I keep them in line. I keep I keep a good line. You know I keep a good line. Look, I and you get one bowl of soup, one bowl. That's it. One bowl, one bowl per person. Look, I I have to be frank with you. Uh, if your behavior, attitude, or conduct does not improve, if you cannot show me that you have, if you cannot show me that you have true faith in your job and your work. I'm afraid we'll have to let you go. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Kristoff. I'll do better. Christopher. G- Christopher. Christ- Mr. 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 Christopher Layard. God, yes, Mr. Christopher. I'll try. I'll do better. I, I will catch that stitch, and I, and I will show him what's for, and I'll take him to that soup kitchen you were telling me about, and <laughs> keep them all in line. You can go now, Bob. All right. God, thank you. <laughs> So Buck, Buck, Buck steps out of the office and he's even more confused than he was when he went. <laughs> but he's still he's dedicated to to uh, doing whatever his boss is saying so he can prove him wrong. So what scene do we want to establish for Will? Oh, oh he's, so he's resolving. So yeah. we have to establish a scene for him. I'm bucking the current system. And the... You're bucking the current ah. system. Okay. And, and, you're, and you're David Price and yes. you run the electronics store. I, I think I he should be in her store. I think he should be finding the notarized letter. 
Mm. Okay, well, those, those are not mutually exclusive. No, it's not, okay. but I'm saying... He's we, going through her mail. Oh, yes. there we go. Oh, oh, yeah, I like that. So this, like is that. Going to describe, this is going to establish what the letter actually is. Yeah, disguised There's a lot of as letters a to customer. Santa in my... Disguised as a customer? Yes. Yeah. Okay. The letter is a disguise. Oh, no, he's disguised. He's disguised as a customer. He's got the trench coat. It's up. He's trying to... <laughs> Sunglasses. Yeah, yeah. Is he wearing, is he wearing a fake mustache? Sure. No, see, I've temporarily, I've got one, it's like a bald cap, but I've cut it, because I normally have a beard, cap. <laughs> so I cut so it, and, so now I look like I'm shaved. Okay, I like, I like that, actually. That's great. Yeah. Yeah. And it then at great. some point in the scene, just take one of these and let us know how it resolves. All right. Um, sorry, I missed part of the, the description. Of this. I'm you're going f- through someone's mail. You're going through her mail. Yeah. Got it. You're actually in, in her room. store. Got it. That would be in the back behind room. The kind of, behind the camera. It would probably be camera. in, like, the, 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 like, the mailboxes for the mall. Like in one of the employee areas, the mailman has accidentally left it unlocked. Uh, like he unlocked it to put mail in, and it's got about halfway, and then suddenly got distracted. Okay. And seeing an opportunity, I'm just kind of looking around, grab both stacks of mail, and uh, I'm heading back to. I've still got like shove them into my trench coat. <laughs> walk very carefully back towards uh, towards my store. Slip inside. Go over to the counter. Pull it out. Going through, looking, looking at all of these things. Um, cult pamphlets, like lots of cult pamphlets. What is this notarized letter? What That's is? A good question. It's. Um, I never figured that out. I think it's something to do with the cult. It had half. It should be. I or think that's right. donations that are heading that way. Donations. Elizabeth. There is a. It's, it's a, a notarized form. letter from Santa. It's from the organization of Mall Santas. <laughs> Oh. oh, and they have the, the Santa's Guild. Yes, it's uh, <laughs> it's the Sainted Santa's Guild, um, the Sainted nice. Santa Society. Ah, like that's, oh. that's what it is. The I SSS. like to insert myself into the scene. <laughs> yeah, I want to be I want to be in your because you're back in your store now, right? Yes. Uh, I want to be just per- perusing your uh, electronics, and um, they, there's like some kind of weird noise maker or something, and and I'm I'm just I'm messing with it, but then I happen to notice. A picture of Santa, and so I'm real interested in, in what you're doing over there. You <laughs> see you see you stand, and I'm looking across, and I'm looking at this letter, and on the inside of it, it's it's basically an agreement that there is going to be a very strong, a very strong push. They're going to have a mall Santa here, and it's going to be in conjunction with her store, and it's going to drive traffic like crazy, and there's going to be uh, lots of Lots of guests. It really going to impact my sales. He's looking at this thing, and I'm like, "There's going to be long lines in front of that store." Yeah, really. If the Santa gets here, yeah. Okay. And I kind of look out, and I see the see the mark. And hey, hey, you know what this is? Have you seen it? The one with the golden envelope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I've got some bad news. You, you you know the you know the woman who runs the store across across the hall, right? No, no, I, I don't know who that is. Okay, well, see, you're a fan of Santa, right? Yeah. This isn't real, <laughs> and that that store across the hall doesn't realize it. It's going to leave tons and like a bajillion of really really sad kids. Hey, so you know, um, stealing people's mail is a federal offense. I didn't steal it. It, I, was, it looks like 103 right there on that uh, envelope. I'm standing here in 204. That explains why it's not addressed to me. Right. I got it. See, I wondered why it was. It came in my box, but didn't have my name How on it. How about I do you a favor and I take this mail back where it belongs and not report you to my friend, uh, mall cop, Mr. Diamond? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good plan. See, now you're tight, yo. That's a good plan. But I'll, I'll cut an extra deal with you. You help me prevent these kids from being disappointed by a phony Santa, um, shutting this down in advance, and I'll, I'll let you have one of something in the store. Oh, okay. Yeah. How about, how, can, I, can I insert myself at this point? So, yeah, you're probably good. Okay. I, I, I literally will just pocket the thing I'm holding, which yeah. is like a, a $50... <laughs> Noisemaker of some kind. Just keep in mind that it ends well for him. <clears throat> yes. The noisemakers oh. they sell in the electronic well. store. Yeah. I think this does end well for him because <laughs> it's going to ruin you. It's an electronic <laughs> noisemaker. <laughs> oh, there you go. Cool. A phone? Oh, do you want to call that a scene? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Your scene. Do you want to establish or resolve? Resolve. Resolve. All right. So what scene do we want to establish for her? Okay. So she's running the shop that sells something different every day. Is that? Every week. Every, every week. week. 
Yeah. Big difference. Okay, every week. Every week. Is it is it selling something different because you have a bunch of different sort of merchandise, or is well, it literally like, changing the theme? I haven't like found my passion yet. Mm. Is it like just handmade crafts, and you sort of have like a new craft that you're trying each week or something? Um, you ever heard of Etsy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining an earthbound. Yeah, probably something Just like that. Bound. Like and like like different gift different gift ideas every week. Because um, yeah. Santa. Yeah, Not it's like right. Christmas every week. It should be. <laughs> because the store is called Christmas every week. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll agree to that. Yeah. I'll agree to that. I mean maybe it, it I mean is she expecting that letter? Uh, maybe she is. Should we be, do something where like she's r- rummaging through her mail trying to get the letter? But then again, there has to be some sort of success. Well, he took right? all of my mail. Yeah, she doesn't have right, right. that something's up. Well, maybe, like, maybe why then did then I not get any mail today? Bringing yes. the mail uh, to her, and that's yeah. where we start. Yeah, I thought he agreed to stay quiet. Well, yeah. he's not reporting the mail theft. But I gave him the mail, so he's taking it back. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I, I take this stack of mail. I slap it down on your counter. Okay, wait, does that stack include the letter? Yeah, it's okay. the it's open, and it's a golden envelope, and it's very obviously the one you've been waiting for. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Stitch, look at this! We're going to have the best Christmas season ever! Oh my gosh, we're going to be able to spread the joy of Santa to so many people! I think you, you of all people, should know Stitch's real name. Because Stitch is a name that he gave himself. It's, I bet. His real name is Elo, right? right? It's, 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 um, it's his, what is it, the uh, spiritual <laughs> name? Yeah. Right, it's the spiritual name. That you yeah. took. Oh, okay. So you don't it's call him by his old name. He's still a reindeer right now, so oh. he needs to be promoted. So. <laughs> it's my spirit name, my holiday spirit ah. name. But, but why is it open already? Um. Yeah, it was opened. <laughs> <laughs> You're not even just... By a male thief. By a male thief. Oh yeah. Okay. Can you uh, maybe identify this thief? Uh, if I saw him again, maybe. Describe him. Um, kind of, um, kind of, kind of tall. Had like a, I don't know, eyes, <laughs> hands. Stitch, where, how, well, why do you know that there was a mail thief? Because I stopped him. I, I recovered okay. your mail. Okay. I'm a hero. You should give me something. I will definitely I will definitely put in a good word for you with the head elf uh, awesome. at the next meeting. Um, the elf on the shelf. Where? <laughs> <laughs> like, overseeing. May, may her name be Holly. <laughs> um, <laughs> where, where, where did this happen? Uh, it was right there in the... In the Atrium, oh. while I was uh, completing my assignment and defacing that evil poster Santa out there. Right. You know. Okay. Just one thing about that. If, if the uh, Society of Santas asks, that that wasn't us. And of course not. <laughs> so, but, you, you know, I take, uh, I take pride in my art. So, mm-hmm. like, you know, I can't not claim it. You well, signed it. Well, let's just let them figure it out. Uh, they're smart. Uh, okay, like Banksy, got it. <laughs> yeah, right, so. just like Banksy. All right. It cuts back, and I peel the fake non-beard off. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal, nice. Revealing Put the, the trench coat need. back yeah. up, make sure the tags are showing again. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you selling a trench coat in an electronics store? It's, it's an like, electronics store. Why wouldn't you sell a trench coat? <laughs> It's, all, it's an electronic trench coat. I, yeah. oh, it's okay. an electronic trench coat. So, so it's, electronic. Got, yeah, it's got Wi-Fi, right? It's, yeah. not, it's oh, like yeah. those t-shirts. It's, got it's actually a Wi-Fi Dude. hotspot. You walk around yeah. with it. It is its own Wi-Fi hotspot. There's a solar okay. panel in the back like the Scott Evest jackets that nobody uh, remembers. Nice. <laughs> right. So I, I, will, I will establish. establish okay. um, it's closing time at the mall. But I'm hiding, <laughs> waiting for him to... Um, Finish locking up. After Diamond is finished locking up, um, I'm actually going to climb up to the like into the rafters mm-hmm. and take this new thing and use zip ties and and zip tie it to the rafters up there. And then I'm going to turn it on. Wait, what are you zip tying? The noisemaker. The noisemaker. Oh, the noise maker. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a Bluetooth noisemaker. And and then um, as I go back to well, it, I I should mention 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, yeah. I was gonna. Say, yeah, go ahead. Um, I I check my phone mm. and and it and it syncs up and it says active on both of them and I'm like, ha, 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 I, I slipped my phone in. Uh, and I, I should okay. So I should also mention if I can insert myself a little bit that because of being told off by you know Mr. Kristoff, um, Buck Buck Diamond is so dedicated that he's decided to to lock himself inside the mall. <laughs> oh no! So that he can. Um, attempt to suss out any problems before they happen. Is he wearing bunny slippers? He's wearing bunny slippers. <laughs> because he's also going to sleep in the mall. I mean, he has to sleep at some point, right? Reindeer, uh-huh. reindeer slippers. Yeah! Reindeer, reindeer sleepers. Reindeer festive, festive, festive out, reindeer like, slippers. Bells are on, yeah. Bells are on there, so I, I'm, I'm like, You're jingling. You know, like, the apartment stores have beds. When yes, you're a kid, you think exactly. you could live in the mall. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Um, so, in fact, you know what? Uh, uh, I, I'm going to do a slight change here. Sli- uh, Buck Diamond does live in the mall. Because he only, he's only he's making, like the scrivener. He's making, he's making only, you know, he's making like seven twenty five an hour. Doesn't have a lot of money for any place else. He he wastes all of his money on you know high end slippers. He spends all his all his oh hard on money high end slippers. That's the next like the kind that he's have. wearing right now. They're they're not they don't just have um, jingles on them. They also have lights that turn on and off. You know the reindeer they're reindeer slippers. So like the nose, nose. is like like glowing on and off. It kind of blinks a little bit. Um, these are some these are some top shelf slippers. Um, so, so yeah, so I'm now, uh, making my rounds around the mall looking for any sort of, uh, any sort of problems. But okay. you're up in the rafters. I, I'm in the rafters, but I see you coming okay. because of your flashing <laughs> lights. Yes. I oh, think, I have a flashlight too, of yeah. course. So, oh no! And I slip it in there, but as I, as I slip it in there, <laughs> uh, I lose my grip and I actually, I actually fall into the atrium. Um, yeah. And through the roof of Santa's little village, oh. um, and into one of the, the the houses. Fortunately, it's like it's the like the uh, the barn, and there's hay and stuff. But crash right into it. Oh dear! So I I go bolting oh. right for it. So I'm going straight for it to try to see to try to see what the ruckus is. Say, like, oh. hold it right there! Stop right there, criminal scum! Oh. In the name of Christmas. In the name of in the name of Christmas. In the name of the Mall Security Guild. Ah. Stop. So I so I, I I rush in and I find I guess Stitch on the uh, like. Yeah, sort of, I, I'm like dazed. Huh. Yeah. All right, that's it. I'm placing you under mall arrest. And I pull out and I, I'm reaching around. I of course don't have handcuffs. Right. So I'm reaching around. I and I have like uh, I guess little like. Just take his zip ties. Yeah. The, uh, actually, do you have any zip ties? Stuff? Yeah, they fell out of my pocket. All right, so I, I pick up the zip ties, and I'm going to try to zip tie your hands together. Along with, like, a can of paint and my phone. Yes. All confiscated. <laughs> yeah, I'm confiscating all of it. Okay. You have you're, no idea how to use that phone? No, I don't. Yeah. You're, you're going You're going to mall jail. Mall jail? Yeah. Burn closet. There's no <laughs> Mr. thing as mall jail. Mr. Kristoff assured me there was mall jail. And I, by the way, Buck is not lying. He truly believes that that was what happened in that conversation. <laughs> Buck needs to work on his hearing. Yeah, Buck, Buck really doesn't have a very good memory. Um, so I, I'm going to pick up uh, Stitch and kind of like, well, not sort of carry him, like lift mm-hmm. him up, and like we're going to walk together to mall jail. Kind of dragging me by my ear. Dra- yeah. Dragging you by ear. So basically I take you actually to the office, mm-hmm. because in my mind somehow... Your office is mall jail, so I'm, I'm just I'm basically locking him inside the office of like the you know the mall. Lay off! It's a horrible place to put you. By Don't the way, bust a mail thief or something. Lay off! <laughs> I am busting a mail thief. That's it for you, Stitch. We had fun for a while, but that's it. I gotta I gotta get my raise, my twenty five cent an hour raise. It's coming. And as you walk away down the hall, I drop to my knees. Diamond! <laughs> <laughs> I guess this time I'll, I'll resolve. I'll okay. let y'all guys set a scene up for me. Cool. So what scene do we want to establish for? I think it should be between them. Yeah. Because it's the next morning and he walks into his office. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. Do it. Good morning. You need to be walking him in bragging. Yes. Uh, so I meet him at the door. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I meet him at the door. put him yeah. in mall jail. <laughs> So I come up, I come up, you're, you're in the office, and you see me, and I haven't, by the way, I've forgotten to change out of my slippers, because it's still pretty early in the morning, and oh, wow. you see me running up to you, and like, I'm kind of, like, huffing up to you with, like, my jingles, like, jingling as I take a step. Mr. Go, Mr. Christoph, Mr. Christoph, Mr. Christoph, Christ- I got him, I got him in mall jail, I've caught the, I've caught the crook, red-handed. <laughs> okay, there are several things I need to address, but we'll take them one at a time, um... Mall jail? Mall jail, like we talked about. Mall jail. I've got him in mall jail. I've, I've, he's caught. I, I caught him. He he was making a mess of himself, and he crashed right into the display, ruining kids' <laughs> hopes and dreams. 
Uh huh. Yes. Where is Mall Jail? Well, uh, what are you talking about? It's in your Show office. <laughs> That's what you're talking about. You said where? You said we don't have any. You don't. You told me last time. You said we don't have a mall jail, and then you said, but we could, we could, we can now have a mall jail right Mr. here, Mr. Diamond. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Kristoff. I believe you are familiar with the bylaws of the Guild of Mall Cops. Uh, yes. Which is weird because you're a paid guild member and you get seven twenty five an yes. hour. <laughs> and also, and also, when Buck said yes. He really meant, I have no idea. He just said yes. Right. They don't want him in the guild. Yeah. yeah. I'm not actually in the guild. I pretend like I'm in the guild. I don't actually know how to become a member. I'm also illiterate, so I can't write. But <laughs> I can't answer anyway. How did you, how did you like, sign all the paperwork to get hired? Um, I had my mom sign it. He helped. Uh, it was a gilded opportunity. Oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I, it was uh, an act of charity. <laughs> there we go. That works. But, what not you regretting now? <laughs> exactly. Buck, I'm afraid that, um... Wait, wait, but Mr. Kristoff, before before you make any decision, you gotta see, I, I caught him, I caught the thief. You'll be so proud of me. All right, I will... So I'm really excited, I'm really excited to bring you to, to, to your office to show you the thief. My heart is open and wide for all who trespass against me. I uh, open the door to my office, and what has happened to my office? Your, your priceless <laughs> painting that you have that's of, of a ship uh, behind your desk has been moved very carelessly um, over to the side. I sure it's not his framed poster of the Footprints poem. Yeah, I could yeah. yeah. The inspirational, the inspirational um, painted nice. thing with the ship. Yeah, nice. there you go. There, there's more than one, but yeah. Okay. Um, has been moved. The big one um, that you prize. And I have taken Sharpies and various other implements from your desk, and I have drawn a caricature of uh, Mall Cop Diamond <laughs> in full, um, and he's he's like a Roman god kind of thing, um, only he's like Zeus, and he's squelching elves and Christmas and, and that kind of a thing. And he, he looks sort of like a uh, cross between He-Man and Hercules, uh, but stupid foolish. <laughs> this makes me think that Buck did this. And he's trying to pull me one over. <laughs> oh, I, and, and I'm nowhere to be seen. Exactly. Well, you, you know Buck. You really think that Buck would try to could pull one over? <laughs> well, I thought I Wait, you're Buck. nowhere to be seen. You're not in there? I'm nowhere to be seen. It's not possible okay. for Buck. No, he's in here. He's in here. We're, Buck? We will find him. What, I think sir? you should take the day off. What? What's wrong? I... My patience is endless, but... Uh, well, I thought it was. I thought I knew things. I thought I knew you, Buck. I thought you would not stoop to such lowness. Well, it's... it's uh, I don't think Buck. it's that bad of a drawing, actually, when Buck? I'm looking at it. I've been immortalized. Take the day off. I don't want to see you in this mall today. If you do, if you do come back today, you're fired. But Mr. Kristoff, who will keep the lines in check? Who will make sure those punk kids don't get out of line? Their parents. Now, good day, Mr. Diamond. <laughs> okay, Mr. Kristoff. So, Buck leaves the office, and, and his first thought as, as he leaves the office is, okay, he's, he's set me in charge of keeping the line straight. I gotta keep make sure the parents, <laughs> the parents keep their kids in line. <laughs> <sighs> and scene. Yeah. There you go. Where were you? Uh, <laughs> under the desk. As soon as you guys leave, I'm like, the door is unlocked now. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just wander out. I think I'm going to establish a scene between us mm -hmm. because we need to work on that rivalry. I think it's not a rivalry. You just can't accept your place. <laughs> oh. Your friends. You are. Well, let's see. Uh, where do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Would you like a suggestion? Yes. So, um, due to a leak in the roof, the church has... You have offered the mall as a place to hold the church nativity, and the church... And like, I've just assumed yes. and set it up. Right. But the thing is, I don't have access to the lights here. I don't get to do that, and I am against this. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to oh, be wow. at the nativity, like... Well, things you're up. still working on getting it yeah, set yeah. up, and I'm still trying to convince you this is a bad idea, we just need to fix the roof. And a real person... A real believer would front the money to fix the roof so we could have this in a church. Mm -hmm. That's the roof I crashed through, by the way. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Jesus' manger. In the church? Oh, no, you... Oh, you ruined my nativity! Well, no, just the roof. 
Yeah, you ruined my nativity. I, I knocked you over. landed in the barn. He yeah, brought down the house the before we opened the doors. Hey, I let, probably let's knocked over Mary, you know? <laughs> I didn't squash baby Jesus or anything. <laughs> That's that means you're not what going to hell doing? right away. <laughs> David Price, <laughs> right away. <laughs> Deacon, I appreciate your efforts to support the church, but I am doing my best as a member of the community to do my part. And I believe that this is the best possible outcome for the both of us. I'm, I'm just saying, if you think about it, mixing the materialism of a mall and the sanctity of the Holy Nativity around Christmas is not... I know it's, it's like not. putting reindeer in the manger, man. You have something against the reindeer in the manger? Yes. There <laughs> I, were no reindeer in Israel. I don't think you have... The there were no... You can't put rain... It's... It's Christmas. You're commercializing it. It's just for the duration of the repairs to the church. But we could get those done tomorrow if we had the money. Which we don't. It will take another two bake sales at least. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the... It's the wrong way to... I think someone needs some more holiday spirit in their heart. I think someone doesn't know what holiday spirit is. I forgive you. And I turn around and stomp off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. I forgive you. Um, let's see. I pull a flask. <laughs> but now we know where the reindeer You're horn totally is. Totally Baptist. <laughs> <laughs> now we've set up where the reindeer horn is, so now oh, we just need to wait for someone to die on it. It, it's a, it should be a flask, but filled with wine. If you're actually the thing, it's a flask of wine. Yeah. yeah. It's a flask of box wine. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Boxed Merlot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. They're moving the new Santa in. Mm-hmm. So we're building off of the the, re- the notarized letters retail competitors, mm-hmm. but it's between them. Mm-hmm. And I'm over there watching because they're moving that Santa in, getting all his stuff set up. And he's still under the, the impression that this is not real and needs to be stopped before children are hurt. He's going to vandalize it. Yep. <laughs> Yeah. So are you supplying him with anything to do that? Uh, if he needs something, all, he knows all he has to do is come ask me for it, and I've probably got what he needs. Um, I've outfitted him with like a little um, a Wi-Fi earpiece that connects to the network. Because I, set up, I help set up your network here so I can actually get on it. And I so you can to talk to me through a, yeah. through a combo. So if you're going to the Santa, I'm going to have to insert myself in the scene. Oh, no. And Buck <laughs> Buck knows that he, he's, he feels like that you wanted him to go undercover to keep these kids in line and protect the parents and protect the exhibit. So I am there posing. I'm outside, out of my uniform, dressed as like a, what I think a parent would wear. Mm. And, uh, Did I'm, you buy one of my trench coats? Yes. 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 Trench coat, you got the, you got the sunglasses? Yes. No, no. no, 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 no you no, have no, a red bandana. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I don't have a, I don't have any of that because my, my cover is not that I'm pretending not to be me. My cover is I'm pretending to be a parent. So I have a small, like, dummy like a ventriloquist <laughs> dummy that I'm pretending is my child, like a kid, and I'm holding it in line as though it's actually in line with me. And occasionally I'll talk to it. It's like, st- stay in line, Woody. Of course I call him Woody. Yeah, That's of course. That's the only name I can remember. Um, and of course other parents around me are looking at me like I'm crazy. Because you are. But, I, but, they, don't say any, but they don't say anything because they think I'm crazy. What is this so, place coming to here? Don't, don't make our time. Don't so make I, our but while I'm doing this, of course, Mommy, I'm secretly this looking funny out. Mommy, why talking to the doll? <laughs> I'm secretly looking out for any sort of mischief and trouble. I'm ready to. I'm ready to throw off my disguise, which and is just dummy. like I just have like a flannel shirt. Actually, you know what? Better yet, I'm wearing my uniform, but it's like under like a big flannel shirt, so that I can pull it off like Superman, and like I'm bulk off underneath. <laughs> You're sweating because it's so hot. Yeah, I'm sweating because yeah. it's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> so there's this big flannel shirted sweaty yeah. guy with a fake oh, kid. Oh, I have I have my my mall cop hat on, and on top of it is a is like a big <laughs> hat, so they can yeah, so it's covering that up too, so that Great I can big pull Santa it off. hat. Yeah, so I can pull it off too. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, all right, so this is this is what you have. You've got to deal with him, and they're moving all the new Santa stuff in uh-huh. for the replacement who's going to be in in a couple of days for her big to do thing. You got to stop it. Okay. Uh, well, <clears throat> Operation Valkyrie is at a standstill right now until I get my phone back. What what uh, uh, what what kind of phone was it? It's it, it's my smartphone, man. Um. Look, I, I got a ton of smartphones. Just like you, yeah, you it's already off. synced up. Oh, I guess Buck has your phone. Though. Yeah, and he has no I mean, idea. I have no idea what, it, what it's supposed. You to know, be he has his, uh, your phone though. Where, where'd you lose it? Uh, Diamond has it. Uh, give me a second. Um, what? What? Tell me what your number is. 
Well, okay. I tell him. I, I dial it up. It's five five five. <laughs> what is your ringtone? <laughs> my ringtone? Yeah. yeah. So uh, ringtone. We don't oh need gosh, no education. Oh. No, no. <laughs> I think it's another brick in the no, wall. I think it's something Christmas. It's the cats and dogs doing jingle bells. Yeah. Heavy metal remix. Arf. There we go. <laughs> Heavy <laughs> metal remix. Yes. Oh, I like it. It All is right. this awful screeching noise. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it's 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 ringing. It's making it's yes. making the noise. And Buck's like, what what what's going on? And I drop Woody. Oh no, my child. Yeah, I drop Woody. Oh, sorry, Woody. Sorry. Don't get don't sprain yourself. So I pick I pick Woody up. I'm reaching around trying to find. I've got to like reach under my pants because I, I I have two pants. <laughs> the so I'm reaching into like my my second pair of pants underneath with the moss. So you're reaching pants. into your pants in front of a bunch of pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The phone pants I have pocket inside there, and I pull I pull the phone out, and I'm trying to fiddle with it. I hang up because the phone can't connect, and yes. then I dial again. Okay. So you dial again, and I'm still fiddling with it, trying to figure out how to how to actually answer a call. I don't have a smartphone. I think you should activate whatever you set up. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, it should be an accidental. I, I push I the wrong it. button or something. Yes, <clears throat> and so it, it forwards <laughs> to the speaker, which is basically what that thing is. Yeah, and that ringtone suddenly is broadcast oh. throughout the entire atrium. The like dogs and cats barking. Yes, well. <laughs> heavy metal remix. I think you did it on purpose. On heavy metal. <laughs> like, it is okay, just... so so you've discredited that that yeah. Okay, good job. <laughs> Ear bleeding. And then I go bad. back to my. Like and, bu- and Buck, and, and when Buck hears that, he he immediately gets red faced. He's like, "Stitch, I know this is you, Stitch. Come out!" And as I'm saying that, shaking my fist, I'm also picking up the like dummy, and shaking <laughs> yeah. like, Stitch, and like parents are looking at me like I'm nuts. I, I get out of there. I run, and, and I'm running straight towards your store. Um, totally out of breath, come in, screech to a stop behind the door, and like, ha, 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 you. Are a vandal god? <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh huh. Exactly. <laughs> Don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> Got it. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Stitch as the, as the music is playing, people are starting to like like wonder what's going on. And uh, Buck goes, "Don't worry, people. I got this." And he throw I throw the wooden dummy down, and I and I reach to my flannel shirt, and I'm trying to like rip it off, but it's not working. So it's I not slowly, a tear away. I slowly unbutton the buttons, and I pull it up like dramatically, and throw and the, the flannel on the ground. And the pants. Have, yeah, and the pants too. I'm trying to take my pants off, and people are like freaking out. But I have a, I don't I have another pair of pants underneath, so it's okay. As you finish, like right that. as you finish, and you're standing there. It's all, taking me several minutes all, to do this. Yeah, but as you finish, and you're standing there all sweatily majestic, I hang up because you're not responding, and the music. Stops, <laughs> and I just kind of, I kind of look around and go, "Well, you're welcome." I am going to bring a tray of gingerbread cookies to his store to try to evangelize him to the goodness of Santa okay. and give him one last chance to 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 join our cause or die. Don't be such a creature, <laughs> or or watch his sales plummet. Yeah, By go. the way, there are no Santa Clauses in my store. There's no decorations. It's, no, it's Christmas decorations, oh. but they're all like um, religious, themes. religious, religious themed, <laughs> like. There, it's very, it's a very Christian store. This is, this is now, so... are you tipsy from drinking this box wine from your flask all day? Or Probably you... angry, not okay. tipsy. <laughs> you get angry drunk. Yes. <laughs> How do you reconcile having one life at church and another life during the week? I'm Baptist. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's so sad and true. Um, yeah. Okay. So I'm coming over with the plate of gingerbread cookies, which all have little Santa hats on them. By the way. <laughs> This is all Santa themed everything. And I'm wearing my elf ears and everything like that. So holly in my hair and all that. And I'm like, Merry Christmas! Do you have a moment to talk about Santa? (laughs) (laughs) I think at this point you snap. I run a store! I don't... I, I, I don't have... This is... A very trying time... In December. I know, and I Santa can help. I, I don't have time. What what are these? They're they're cookies. They don't How they don't look like cookies? what is that's the cookies aren't red. Well, gingerbread is often <laughs> reddish. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 a traditional Hollywood Hollywood <laughs> baked. That vandal tipped you off, didn't he? So, so what, are you, what are you talking about? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. What? You're trying to buy me off, aren't you? You want me to shut down my store so I stop cutting in on everything you're doing over there at that other store. I don't think that's not it. <laughs> are, you, are you drinking? No. What, what was 
that in your pocket? It was um water. Water. Okay. Yes. Um. You well, have you have red the lights, all around your your lips from like the wine you've been yeah. drinking all day. The lights are the lights are hot in here. Can't you feel it's um it's, water keeps me cool. It's actually a little bit chilly. Um, you might want to want to talk to 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 Mr. Edwards about the the temperature in here. That is a good plan. Yes. Um. Yeah. And and um, I enjoy the cookies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Merry Christmas. And I'm leaving, I'm like, and it's I'm, I'm both disturbed dumping. and yet reassured that my business will be booming. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I forget that they are. That's how I people who go nice. in his store. Nice. <laughs> uh, final scene of Act 1. Uh, establish or resolve? I will resolve. Okay. So what are we going to establish for him? Final scene of the act. Um, let's see. So, okay, so you just met, you just thought that your plan was somewhat successful with, with him, right? Mm-hmm. Dave, with David? Okay. Um... What would he do? What would you do next? Are you going to go back and try to mess up the exhibit again, the sand exhibit again? The new one? Well, there is an nativity scene in the mall now. There is. You see true. your phone on the floor in front of the nativity scene. That's true. Oh, yeah, oh, I definitely. Yeah. yeah, I definitely dropped it. And I, I it's in a pile of clothes that no one really wants to touch. <laughs> okay. oh, oh. oh yes, and a doll, a, a dummy. Yeah. And there's a yeah. There's yeah. A I've dummy. ran off at this point. So, yeah. The dummy like fell so that its hand is over the phone. Maybe mm-hmm. I'm fishing for it, like fishing line fishing for. it. <laughs> Using um, a high tech fishing gear <laughs> that talks and tells you where the fish are. Ooh. Three meters. <laughs> Except that you're up in the rafters again? Right, I am. <laughs> you're up in the rafters? Okay. <clears throat> Almost got it. Have we had a scene together? No. Ooh, that should be a thing. I, I oh, totally he's fishing in the nativity and it's your nativity. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the plebs. You I, come out because of this disturbance. I think I think I was out no, of the mall during the this mall. disturbance because I would be on the scene immediately if that happened. So I come back from the latest bank sale. Which is I've why I'm fishing instead of just going and getting it. And I'm, I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Why is... I'm just going to yank it down and see if I catch anything. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the fishing... Pole falls. Who's up there? What are you? Who's? <laughs> what are you looking for? Yeah. Hoot, hoot, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Bird. I mean, <laughs> who is this? Is this Lilo? Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. No, yo. <laughs> Come on down. I'm not angry. Uh, I'm not gonna get mad with you. Can I have my phone back? Oh, this phone? Yeah, sure. Yeah. What was it doing here? With uh, these incredibly damp clothes. It was <laughs> stolen by your mall cop, dude. Diamond? Yeah, he, he's been confiscating my stuff, yo. <sighs> I apologize for... That's that's theft, yo. I know. That's it. That's a crime. I know. I will address this issue immediately. Excellent. <laughs> um, I'm coming down then. Give me like 10 minutes. Are you looking for a part-time job? Yeah? How would you like to be mall cop? Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, no. I think end scene right there. (laughs) (laughs) It's technically a bad ending for him. It is. (laughs) So the way this is going to work, everyone who has dice, which looks like is everyone, uh, you're going to roll them. You're going to add up your white, add up your black, subtract the lower from the higher, and let me know basically what you get, like white two, black five, whatever. White one. I mean black one. White one? Okay. Black Black one. Okay, so the highest black and the highest white. Black five. White 13. Okay. <laughs> so what you guys are going to do, we're going to roll the dice that are remaining here. Color doesn't matter. You've got two threes, two fives, and a whole bunch of fours to work with. Hmm. Um, I can pass this around to you, but it's the tilt table. One of you, each of you is going to pick one category, and then the other one's going to pick a detail for that category. So the categories are numbered. Um, pick one category from the numbers that you have available. I'm gonna pick on four guilt. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna take a three. Okay. On um, innocence, which is innocence. Innocence. Oh. Okay, so we got guilt and innocence. Interesting. Interesting. Um, and now, uh, Will, you go and use one of these die to add the detail for his category. Three. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was also thinking of five. But no, we're gonna go with four collateral damage. Um, and now you pick a detail for his category, which was guilt. Guilt. Using uh, three, four, or five. Four. Definitely <laughs> four. Oh yeah! Oh wow! Okay. Um, yes. Oh, killing doesn't make any sense for our story. That's not Christmassy. 
It's got to go horribly wrong. <laughs> that horribly wrong? I yes. did say collateral damage. Yeah? That's true. Um, the live reindeer that were mistakenly brought in for yeah. the Oh, no! I'm going to go, I'm gonna Wait, go you have an object. Yeah, greed leads to killing. <laughs> greed leads to killing. Oh, boy. We'll do that. Greed leads to killing. Okay, I guess I'm going to resolve and take a white. Okay. So what are we going to establish for him? Him getting fired. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! And and he decides he decides to like still do his job, but of then course, accidentally <laughs> he becomes, becomes a, the vandal. He becomes a vigilante. So there's like a role reversal here. <laughs> so that basically, it's like the a, meeting with with you and me, where he's get, making you give me his keys. Oh, your keys. oh, right. which are the keys to your house too? Because you live right. in the mall. <laughs> right, right. So, you have spares. Yeah, you have, have spares. spares. So I, have spares. Doesn't matter. I don't know. Yeah, you played spares, but you've not told me. And also, I'm going to. Don't worry, because I'm going to become a vigilante known as Mall Cop. So just, nice. Literally just me with like like a very thin mask. Um, okay, so... Diamond? Okay. Yes. This... Yes, Mr. Kristoff, you called me into your office, right? So so I'm wearing my, my, my uniform. Is this the next day, or is it so it's like sweaty as hell? Okay, so I'm, it's covered soaking in sweat. It's like, it's, it's just, it looks like I just took a bath in this uniform. Diamond? Yes, Mr. Kristoff. You have been. I, I did good. I stopped. There, there was a disturbance in the Diamond? mall. You heard it, and I, I, I stopped it. You heard that the, the the songs coming out. People were freaking out. I stopped it. Diamond, heroically. You've been here for how many years now? Uh, seventeen, sir. I think that's long enough. <laughs> there comes a time in everyone's life where they find uh, purpose uh, and meaning. Am I am I being promoted, sir? I've done a good job. No, no, if you not. <laughs> You have not done a good job. You have failed terribly in every task I have given you. I want you to leave. Turn in your badge and your keys and your hat. I, I oh. step out of your private bathroom. You hear a flush. <laughs> sir, sir. And I'm wearing a mall cop uniform. <laughs> what? You, you're making him a mall cop? He knows the mall better than anyone else, and he seems to actually care about doing what is right. Hey, Diamond, yo. You're making a big mistake, Mr. Kristoff. I think the big mistake was hiring you in the first place. Goodbye, Diamond. <laughs> so you, are you making me hand over like my, my badge and my... Okay, so I'm handing over my stuff really slowly. Are you... The keys, too? The, do I have to get my keys, yes, too, Mr. Kristoff? the keys, too. You right. can keep the keychain. All right, so I, I keep the Hello Kitty keychain. <laughs> um, uh, Mr. Kristoff, do I have to give him my, my, my giant flashlight, too? Yes, the flashlight comes with it. Okay, so, I, so I, I'm reaching over and I hand him the, the flashlight. What about my gun, sir? You don't have a gun. <laughs> well, then I, I pull out, like, I just pull out, like, a, a Glock and just kind of stick it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a license for that? Uh, probably. You know what? Keep it. I don't, I, I do not care. That's how it ends well for you. Okay, thank, thank you, Mr. <laughs> do not care. <laughs> so long, Diamond. This isn't over. This isn't over, Stitch. This is not over. Close the whenever, door. Whenever there's problems... I'll be I there. Whenever the there's people in a line, <laughs> whenever there's people in a line getting unruly, kids getting unruly in a line, the mall cop will be there. I have to say, Mr. Edwards, I, I really like your art in this office. I still have not cleaned art. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it, it it it's got kind of a, a classical flair, but with like a nouveau twist. Really? Uh huh. Is this what the kids are into nowadays? Uh, oh, I wish. <laughs> <sighs> I think we're gonna get along just fine. Oh yeah. So you want me to go like uh, bust some twerps, yo? Just make sure the back doors are locked for now. We'll we'll start off slow, you know. Get uh, you used to it. Back but... doors, got it. Yeah. So while you know they have they finish their conversation, so now I'm standing outside the office, and I seem a little dejected at first, but then I realize that this is really just a test. Mister Kristoff is <laughs> is testing me. <laughs> He knows that I have what it takes to get a promotion. And you, I know you have a gun now. Yes, and he knows I have what it takes to get a promotion. So, so I, I realize, I say... If I kill the mock I'll become the mock <laughs> I have to... I have, one. I, have to prove to, I have to prove to Mr. Kristoff that, that I am the true mall cop. It's time... It's time... Now that I'm not... I'm not officially Buck Diamond. Buck Diamond, the mall cop, is dead. Long live mall cop. <laughs> and I and I I reach out and I have like a little a little mask that I've I've made from just like a, a an old sock that I've cut holes <laughs> Ahead of time, in. You made it. I've, 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 I've had it, I've had it for years. It's just a really dirty case. sock, just in case. <laughs> just in case. And I and I like tie it. I tie it dramatically around my around my head, and I just kind of wander off. 
Dun, Actually, no. Dun, but I run dun, off. Dun, I run off and I do like a pose. Dun, 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 <laughs> right in front of a security camera. Yeah. Yes, right in front of a security camera, of course. Oh, okay. Um, for me, I'm going to resolve and take a black die. Okay. I think that you should be working on that nativity scene. I think so. Yeah, I think sense. someone scandalized it. I think the problem huh? is that your order has been replaced, and so instead of the... Uh, plastic reindeer, child safe reindeer. The there reindeer. are live Actual. reindeer here. Live reindeer. I like that. Yeah. Reindeer. I like that yes. too. Who? <laughs> Who? Why? I walk over yeah. with the clipboard. Um, <laughs> so apparently, someone went like over the thing. church budget and ordered a bunch of live reindeer. That's your signature, right? I did. But. <laughs> Deacon, you know that I would never... I would never misappropriate funds like this. Of course not, of course not. But it happened. Well, send them back! We can't. Order's placed. Where's the receipt? They're closed for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Christmas! Exactly! <laughs> this happens this weekend. We can't send these back. Someone's got to feed them. Well, what if, well, then... You do it! Why? I have a business to run. And I'm your boss! Uh, I no. own your lease. No, no you're not no, my no. boss. That's not a. I pay you money. If you get rid of me, you make no money. Well, I'd rather not make money than have you messing things up with these live reindeer. I didn't order the reindeer. You ordered the reindeer. I think I'm going to push you now. I'm going to physically confront you. It's like this is your fault. I'm going to stumble back. I, I'm going to tell the guy. Yeah, sure, let's see. I'm going to tell the pastor. Yeah, he doesn't even know you exist. You're always in the back room doing all the AV stuff. Doing all the stuff he's asked me to do personally. He knows my name. Right, because it keeps coming up in meetings. (laughs) (laughs) What do you think it means? I'm asking you. I just told you something. (laughs) Is this going to get violent? Are you going to make it violence? I might. Well, I might have to get violent back. I think I'm going to throw a punch now. I'm going to take it and just kind of stagger and be like, I'm, I'm going to go find the mall cop. And I turn <laughs> yeah. Good luck! You have reindeer to deal with. I have reindeer to deal with. So but... I'm going to let someone else establish it. Okay, do you want white or black? Uh, I'm going to take black. Okay. So I think it definitely his scene should involve him trying to track down the mall cop. Yeah, and finding out the horrible truth. <laughs> yes. Horrible, horrible truth. Where is, where is, I know... Oh, where oh, is that he guy? Should be What's in his my name? store showing off his diamond. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, there's a uniform. Wait, why are they so much shorter? So this is lime green, um, <laughs> and it glows in the dark, dude. It smells funny. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> my mommy says I'm not allowed to draw on the walls. At this mall, it's for kids, yo. Malls are owned by the people, yo. Thanks, oh. Mr. Mall Officer. We. Yeah. I walk up. So you're, um... Uh, oh, hey! You're the mall cop now. Yeah, I give you a big snappy salute. <laughs> Operation Valkyrie's going better than I imagined. I can, uh... Tell. Uh, so... Don't so, forget that he's a male thief. <laughs> there's... Mm. I'm the worst mall cop there ever was! <laughs> you uh, are! You really are! The second yeah. worst mall cop there ever was! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can, yes. like... I don't know. You can, you have like handcuffs. You can arrest people, right? You're a cop. Yeah. So I can like shoot them if I want to. So that Edwards, he assaulted me. You need to do something about it, Mr. Edwards. Yes, he hired me. <laughs> and now we see the problems inherent in the system. <laughs> it's right You're not going children. to be a problem inherent in the system. What's are in you? that bottle, Mister? It's Kool-Aid. Can I have some? I like Kool-Aid. <laughs> uh, it's, it's empty. <laughs> Listen, yo, I, I appreciate the help that you've been to me and all, but I think I've, like, transcended your uh, assistance. Where's, where's, um, where's the old mall cop? I don't know. Meanwhile, camera, camera pan to a... a tr- 
trash can off suspiciously sitting in the middle of like a <laughs> mall hallway. It's not even matching any of the other not matching any other trash cans. It's clearly not a real trash can. I've 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 worn it's made a, of cardboard. Yes, I've worn a it's essentially a trash painted. can suit, <laughs> and I'm pe- I'm peering out uh, with like you know the binoculars. Square, yes, the like other trash cans spine on that, waiting for waiting for. Um, I'm, I'm farther away though from y'all, and I'm wait and and I'm waiting for you to. I'm waiting for a Stitch to mess up, so so that I can I can catch him red-handed and get my job back. So what happens here is I tell him, "Fine. Well, if you see him, let him know that your Mister Edwards decided to get in a fight with me." What you hear is I've assaulted Mister Edwards. <laughs> <laughs> There's a criminal on the loose. I've got to protect. I've got to protect Mister Kristoff. <laughs> Don't call that a scene. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> All right, so I'm fiercely resolve. loyal. Uh, resolve. Resolve. Well, which one do you want? It doesn't matter either. It really way. doesn't. Okay, so let's go and establish first, and you can pick as we go. All right. What are you selling right now? Um. This week. <laughs> this week. Um, week before Christmas. Mix and scented candles and electronic toys, which makes him really upset. And but, like like the remote control helicopter. So I think we should also try to work in either uh, the need or the object. So bring the notarized Ooh. letter thing back into mm-hmm. it, or talk about the uh, the miracle of Christmas mm. in this scene. This is and what about real Santa? And what about the live reindeer? Is there, maybe that's part of the Christmas miracle. Oh yeah, maybe mix that in somehow. Because you've got the real Santa here now because of that golden letter. <clears throat> yeah. Wait, who's the real Santa? <laughs> He's got an actual beard. Okay. It's not fake, and it's it's since it's in conjunction with her store. She is technically paying them, so it's free to the children. He, he's a method actor who's convinced himself he's actually Santa. Oh, that's even better. <laughs> so he thinks he's Santa, and I think he's Santa. Mm-hmm. He's okay. legally changed uh, his name to Saint Nick. <laughs> <laughs> we've, now, we've now established target number one for the killing, by the way. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm in your store, twirling the keys. Oh, 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 and we think that the reindeer that are downstairs are his reindeer. Right. <laughs> well, they're in are, the wrong obviously. display. We need to go. He, that's where he parked them. So, like, my boss, uh, Mr. Edwards, he, like, said the reindeer needed some food or something. So I was thinking, you've got cookies? Yeah. And we can feed the reindeer your cookie dough. Okay. And then, oh, like, no. <laughs> 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 reindeer love cookies. Oh, well, it's like it's the magic of Christmas. <laughs> oh. And peppermint sticks. Here. We have some. I, I I have some that I baked earlier. Um, I didn't give all of them away because things got really weird. Um, here, take these down to the down to them. Oh, oh, and these candy canes. I, I'm off the candy canes. Well, not personally. For you. They're for the reindeer. Can stitch. you box them up or something? Okay, I can't sure, touch the stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, I I got a little I got a little serious. Seriously? Six months clean. Yeah, but you know I'm good. I'm good. Okay. All right. I'm I'm off. Okay. I'm off the mint. Well, you know, I'm here. I'm here for you if you need to talk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. You're, like, contractually obligated, yo. Well, yes, but just, just so you remember that, okay. that but I'm here. I just wanted to point out that Magic Christmas is real, yo, because, like, I've got, I've got keys to anything. Whatever you want, just let me know. Oh, thank you, Stitch. You are so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, so mm-hmm. we'll just make sure the reindeer have the delicious cookies and... Oh, and it's so nice that we get to have Santa here, too. Oh, this is the best Christmas ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> so I, I'll, I'll, like, take a whole um, dolly <laughs> yeah. full oh, of, of cookies. Oh, and raw no. cookie dough <laughs> down. <laughs> and, then, and, I'm, and I'm like, because I'm, cause your store's upstairs. <laughs> and I'm, but I'm like... <laughs> Uh, I don't know where, you know, it's the elevator's on the other side. And yeah. oh, no. It's a sticker. I just, I look, I just dump the whole thing over. <laughs> Big crash right down. And it's just, and, and the, and the reindeer start eating. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> wow. Oh, reindeer. This is going to be messy. <laughs> that animal cruelty is happening. All right. Establish our resolve. I will resolve. He just made a lot of noise with those. Did he run off from the reindeer? Or? I think, I think he's going to start finding signs of the mall cup. This makes sense. Yeah. I think that like like good. like you're he, gonna feel bad about it. Oh, the oh, guilt right, starts coming to play. Oh. oh, because you've got a family. This guy seems to have nobody. Yeah, and that's breaking the spirit of Christmas. Oh, oh. <laughs> someone's got to get greedy at some point too. You have an epiphany. Wait, there was a, wasn't greedy. Was uh, greed leads to killing. Is oh, right, 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 right. 
Okay. There's so, also collateral damage. Yeah, I think right. you're innocent. You you Doc, you, you, you know that camera. that Diamond has no one <laughs> during this time of year, and now he's just lost his job. One of the empty boxes mm. of cookies is on the ground. I pick it up, take it to a trash can, and, and dump it in, and it lands in your face. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? We need uh, to induct him into our. There's hall, nobody here. So he'll there's have nobody here. <laughs> trash can noises. This is just a trash. Yeah, trash can noises. <laughs> so he'll have a family at Christmas. Man, you're one trashy dude. But really, uh, I, Stitch, if I if if I was still had my my authority, my flashlight, I would send you to mall jail. It's right here. Bop. Did you want to hit me over there? Yeah, with your <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> oh wow. All right. So I'm like, ah, why'd you do that for? Because I got authority, man. <laughs> now you know how it feels. Oh. All right. That's it. It's time for Mall Cop to, to jump into action. So I'm like softly <laughs> trying to get up to jump in. into action, but I'm like stuck in this cardboard <laughs> box so it falls over. And, and I just kind of fall escalator. over and I'm like rolling around no. trying to get up. Rolls down the up escalator. <laughs> so <laughs> it's an endless thumb. Yeah, I roll down the up escalator. Yeah, I just, it's, it's the most pathetic thing yeah. ever. I grab, I, I grab some neon pink, uh, you know, oh, and no. rattle the can. And I start spraying you and spraying it and spraying everything. It's just pink. And, it, and you're twirling and it's pink. And then I step back to admire my handiwork. And suddenly, oh man, that's just pitiful. Oh. Diamond, you're. You're pathetic. <laughs> you, know. you can't hear him. I don't, yeah, think. I, I don't think I can hear anything at this point. Screw this noise. And I take off my oh, my hat no. and my coat and I just toss it down. You leave it right in front of him. Mm-hmm. I just toss it down. <laughs> and I'm going to go tag something and make some beautiful art. So me- meanwhile, meanwhile, where this is going on, I'm, I'm going to be able to like squeeze out and see the clothing and get really excited and start. Um, I think like, this is your first Christmas gift to Diamond. Yeah, yeah. Could be, but I didn't give him his keys back. Ah, I have, I have spares. spares. Spare. Yeah, yeah. And, and also, so I, so I see the clothing lying there. I finally, you know, it takes me, it takes me several minutes to get out of this conundrum, but I finally get out of like the cardboard box and manage to crawl back up. Mm-hmm. And I see the clothes lying there. I say, must be a Christmas miracle, and I gra- and I grab the clothing and I and I and I run off looking for a phone booth because I think I'm going to change <laughs> like a superhero back into my mall cop mm-hmm. uniform. And when I don't see one, I I just kind of like duck behind a corner and start like changing into my the mall uniform. Nice. There's just people walking by and like freaking out. That's not the weirdest thing to happen in this mall no, today. It's, not, it's really not. Uh, so now we are on our final round. So things got to really start hitting the fan right now. Would you like to establish a resolve? I don't know. I think I think maybe I should establish because I have an idea about what I want to do. Okay. So I'm going to establish, and I'm go- and I now that I've got my mall cop uniform back, I feel like I've now been empowered again. I'm back as mall cop, but I'm still wearing the sock like you know cover because I'm I, I've I've still shorn the identity of Buck Diamond. You know, you look like cop. a six year old in, in four year old clothes. Yes. Because. It was. It fit me, not yeah, you. Yeah, it's it's like really. I, I you know I look like you know, like Chris Farley in the tiny shirt. Yeah, in those movies, yeah. So I think I'm, I think you're going to walk in on me trying to corral the, the reindeer. Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm going to go straight for um, David Price because oh, David that's Price right. assaulted Mr. Kristoff. So I have to go confront him and deal mall justice and deal deal mall justice and send him to mall jail. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> this is gonna go poorly. Yes, okay, this is gonna go fine. very poorly. So I go, I go directly to to uh, uh, David. Run out of wine at this point, I think. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I go straight into his his store, and I say, and I say, Mister Price, come out, come out in the name of justice. I walk out, Mall Justice. At last, you've shown up. I yes. mean, oh, look, you got. I guess he hired two of you now. That's great. No, I've seen, I've I've seen you assault. I know that you assaulted Mister Kristoff. And it's time for you to to pay your due in mall wait, jail. Wait, assault is wait, two what? hours in mall jail. Wait, <laughs> wow. I think your story is backwards. Yeah, Edwards hit me. That's not what I heard. I heard you admit that you attacked him. That oh, that vandal. I don't. Told the, look, look. Go, go talk to your your the other mall cop buddy. He'll set it straight. Edwards hit me. No, I don't believe you. And so I'm like fumbling around in, in, inside my pants for the gun that I have. 
Yeah. And I'm like fumbling trying to find it. So, you know, I, I pull the gun out. This is going to go badly for me. So I pull the gun out. Let's see. Let's see how we're going to do this. You never keep the safety on. I bet it goes I never, out. yeah, I'm, I never <laughs> keep the safety on. <laughs> I'm thinking, just do it. I think this will be funny. Just okay, do it. Cause fine. I so I'm, f- I'm fumbling and I drop the gun and it goes off and the bullet hits you. <laughs> it takes me and I just, I stumbled. I didn't say it killed you or anything. I, I know, I know. Yeah. Let's like, I, I need an EMT. <laughs> and I'm freaking out now. Oh no! What do I do? I gotta find Mr. Kristoff! <laughs> He'll know what to do. Like, I'm pulling out a phone like, uh... Just trying to... I'm trying to dial 911. What's one. the number for 911? How do I... Do the ones come first? <laughs> you are so drunk. <laughs> stay, stay right there, Mr. Price. I'll find help. Yeah, I'm not it's... going... I have to close the store. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll call Mr. Kristoff. And I, and I poke my head out of the store. Mr. Kristoff! No, I think you go running and slip in reindeer poop. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that. I run. I'm, I'm going to do that as well. So after I'm calling, I, I, I got to go find you myself. I start, I start running down, but, you know, I'm wearing clothing that's like a size too small or something. What if he slips in reindeer poop and that's where the horn comes in? Oh, no! <laughs> The horn comes uh, Oh, yeah. The c- Christmas canceled object. Oh, no. Reindeer horn. No, no, no. Or antler. I think I know what's going to happen. You slip, slide into the atrium, knock Santa off his throne, onto the horn. Yes. Oh. I like that. I like that. I like that. So <laughs> Fake Santa kids. Greed Christmas. kills someone. Yeah, I like it. I like it. So that's, that's what happens. I slip on the reindeer poop. I slide forward. And crash right into the whole exhibit. Santa falls over and lands right oh, on the oh, reindeer. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was, all right, I was gonna say it just kind of. No, we have some Are there that, okay. children witnessing this too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There's children witnessing this. Oh, yeah. You, you can, Christmas the, is canceled. The kids, That's what happens when you're bad. If the kids start, yeah, as the kids start freaking out, I'm yelling, like, "Stay in line! Stay in line! Kids. I'm like, I'm like, Stay in line!" Wait your turn to meet the reindeer. <laughs> I think we'll call that a scene. Yeah. We'll call that a scene. I'm sitting in the ruins of my office. And I think I have access to, like, the security cameras, I bet, right? Probably, yeah. I am just head in hands at what is... What has... What is going on? I don't have a flask with communion wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Vox Merlot, actually. Yeah. I, uh... What do I want to do? Oh, man. I think I'm going to actually call the real police. <laughs> or, no, I'm going to call you in first. Okay. What is he doing? Yeah, I was like, uh, Lilo, can we talk about what's going on in the atrium? Yeah, sure. Uh, can Do you have an explanation for why this is happening in the mall? <laughs> Uh, Does this look like a happy Christmas to you? I <laughs> is this what holiday cheer is supposed to mean? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought I knew, but I don't know anymore. <laughs> what do you know? <coughs> I know. I know diamonds like pathetic. That's a given. <laughs> I I don't know. I I thought I I thought I had everything I wanted, but. When I had it, I just didn't want it anymore. You're fired. Thank you. <laughs> I, you're welcome. I, just get out. Get out of my office. I'm calling the police and the ambulance and animal control. And <laughs> I don't know who else. A new Santa, maybe. We already have. The real He's dead. Santa. No, there were two. The, mall, the fake mall Santa is dead. My real Santa you lives. Think. He's immortal. Santa oh. is immortal and you know it. Santa's an idea. Santa's, yeah. You can't kill him. <laughs> what, whatever, yo. He's also Good luck with your Christmas, Christmas thing. Christmas. Get out. <laughs> bah humbug. I think that's scene. That's scene, I think. Okay. Yeah. Alright, All right, I'm going to establish. And I'm going to factor in on the uh, greed kills somebody. Mm-hmm. Um, and the church frenemies thing. Because you have to make sure the EMTs go to the right place. That's a great Oh, oh no! Okay. Oh, I see. Oh. Okay. So you pass by, like, as you reach, as you're walking around the atrium, you walk over to where I'm at, and you see me, like, trying to hold. Um, oh my god, what myself. happened? Your, your, your cop shot me. <laughs> Lilo did this? It, it was. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> 
even get the gun. No, that's not important. <laughs> that's <laughs> not. It wasn't. It wasn't legal. It's your all. Your other cop. Your other, like, it wasn't, he this, dropped... You're, you're delirious. You're look, losing too much blood. <laughs> yeah. He dropped a gun. Look, look, I just want to, I just want to say, look, I, can, I, I'm sorry. Because, because, like, the, the reindeer are not your fault. Like, I forged your signature. Ooh. It was, it's everyone, like, they talk about you in the meetings, like, all the time. And they forget what I do. And it's like, if we don't have it at the church, I do nothing. So is this going to be a, is this going to be a good or a bad? I think... I, or, no, I, no, I'm set, I said this. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> so this is about you. This is the frenemies thing. Yes. Yeah, this is about you, isn't it? This is this has always been about you. I walk out. I leave you to die. Oh my oh. god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Getting you kind of need to swap them then. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily. You could have found a way to survive that. I can't. Like I'm so do- I'm drunk. I can't do anything. <laughs> it's like EMTs are helping Santa. Do you tear up my my lease papers? In front of you, yes. It's been revoked. I just kind of like <laughs> slide down and look. See you on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Let it snow. <laughs> <laughs> I, pull out, I pull out the flask and I'm like, just kind of like. <laughs> There's a bullet hole in it. <laughs> oh, no! That would have been the good ending. It? He finds out all that, they thought it was blood. <laughs> that he, blood. he just oh, wow. was so drunk that he thought he was shot. Yeah. I mean, there's concussion damage. That's I cool. say switch it. I say switch it. I like that. That's what happens. Okay. You're you pull in the you. cast. You pull it out. Uh, like, and the yeah, it's, the bullet. There's a bullet in hole in my. Yeah. No, the bullet is still in the flask. Yeah. So it's been leaking out. You, have, you, yes. you didn't actually get shot. Yeah. I, I know. I'm like, I shake it, and then <laughs> you have a huge bruise there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a cracked rib. It hurt, of course. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <feel really sad. laughs> <laughs> and also, your lease has been destroyed. Yes, I no longer have. And also, you know that he tried to kill you, essentially. Yeah, he let you die. He I guess you could say he's got a die. new lease on life. Oh, no. that was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> willing to let you die. All right. Oh. And seriously, so establish our resolve. Um. Chaos and pandemonium. Yeah, well, Santa did die. Chaos and pandemonium. Children are terrified of Christmas now. <laughs> Not in my store. Well, they're screaming, so do something. I'm still frantically you know trying to get actually, them back. How are you reacting to the children going nuts? Um. And the fact that you just see a dead Santa over there. <laughs> Uh, let's see. And you don't believe that that's the real Santa. That's not the real Santa. And you still I'm, not, going not to, them I'm going to tell the children that that is not the real Santa. Come in, t- um, in, children. Meet the real Santa. Real Santa is just fine. And we're going to have cookies. And we're going to sing Christmas carols. What happened to Santa? And that's not Santa. Santa's just fine. And he's right in here. And I bring all the children into my store. And, and their parents are very much relieved that... <laughs> My There's Santa still a is, dead man. There's still a dead man, but real Santa, but my real Santa is distracting their children. And, I, and I, the elf on the shelf shows up and promotes me to the end. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm actually, as I see them start to be ushered over, I think this is a completely natural process, so I'm, I'm keeping them in line Why? as they're going to your store. <laughs> I'm like making sure they stay in single file, and the parents are just so confused by all this, they assume it's some sort of weird, elaborate show, so they're going along with it. Because I'm, I'm, I'm really confident about this being true. So I'm like, that must not be the real... I, I believe it, too. I'm like, that must not be the real Santa. I think Stitch should I think now. that you are a prime candidate to, to become one of our little peppermints. I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> sounds a little, it sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers from the kids and the yeah. parents. And right now, this is actually wild. This could be white or black. Suddenly, Oh, really? Yes. Okay. So you can choose to establish a result. Okay, that's cool. Um, and, and suddenly... Um, People start buying everything in the store. Like, just, they're cleaning you out. I'm good with that. In an orderly fashion. Yeah. Oh, as yes. enforced by Mall Cop. From you know, the, the, you... the Mall Cop formerly known the as Black Diamond. Are you horrified by more, the mortality just dis- witness? No, I just, no. Santa? Go to consumer. He's already <laughs> forgotten. By way, you're paying. I believe that that's not the real Santa, of course. It couldn't be, because Santa can't die, right? That sounds right. <laughs> that's absolutely right. We should have a talk sometime about... Christmas and Santa. Take a pamphlet. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We have some lovely YouTube videos. I'll show you later. What's a what's a YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like TV. It's lots of fun. You love it. Television? You? I like watch, trying, yeah. Like, but in seven, I've, seventeen years, I've lived in this mall, so I see televisions, but I've never actually owned a television. Nice. Mm. Well, the security monitors. That's true. Yeah. Stitch is in the men's room. Um, so you're establishing graffitiing up a stall. <laughs> and the real Santa 
Uh-oh. walks in. Are you going to get some comeuppance? Stands next to him, unzips, <laughs> and says... Oh, 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 you would not believe the crowd of kids in there. Oh, makes old Santa have to go. <laughs> and I just look over at him like, you're unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe in you anymore. I kind of want this to stay black. Yeah. You know, Santa? <laughs> you know, Santa, I used to believe in you. In fact, earlier today was the greatest Christmas of my life. And then I had everything. Everything. And what I realized was I didn't have anything. Why, Santa? And I grab him. And I shake him. Why, Santa? Why? <laughs> You're definitely getting the black mark of cold. Yeah. Is he going to hit his head too hard? <laughs> are, are you going to kill Santa again? There is a collateral damage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Didn't we already kill a Santa? Well, yeah. that was, that was green, that was green. green kills. <laughs> oh, we're gonna <laughs> kill two this day. But collateral damage said innocence too. Yeah. Oh, the reindeer still have 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 eaten disgusting junk food and not had a conversation. Yeah, yeah, they're probably the collateral. Yeah, they're the collateral damage. <laughs> yeah. There are dead reindeer now. Yeah, there's dead reindeer. <laughs> so, or or at least very sick reindeer. Yeah. So somebody somebody role play Santa and, and give the reply. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about, young man, but you are being pretty naughty right now. Please let go. Please let go. This is a rental suit, kid. There's no such thing as Santa. Yeah, I know. I slap him. Oh. Do you knock the beard off? Yeah. <laughs> he has he a real, real beard. beard. He had the real he one, yeah. Real beard. I thought the other one that died had the no, real beard. No, 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 no. This is the special one. That was, this this is is the real Santa. He hits you back. This is real Santa. Ow! Old envelope. Mm. What'd you do that for? You hit me first, kid! Santa doesn't hit people! Well, I'm not really Santa, am I? You're not? Kid, how old are you? <laughs> like, 14? Grow up. <laughs> Whoa. I think Santa leaves now. You're right. I need to grow up. <laughs> this changes everything! <laughs> and I, I take everything out of my pockets, my... You know, my, my can, I throw it in the urinal. Phone. My markers, I throw it in the urinal. <laughs> the phone didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Um, but the last thing I do is, I on the, on the phone, I uninstall the app. Oh, oh wait. The, the app to destroy the, the blow, to blow the bullhorn? Right. That one? Yeah, okay. that one. All right. And I go, I just, I don't think that I can be Stitch anymore. Oh. <gasps> From now on, I'm gonna be the artist formerly known as Stitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the aftermath, which is kind of like an ending montage to see what happens to everyone. Now we roll. <laughs> yes, now we roll. So what you're gonna okay. do? Uh, basically, same idea as before. Roll your dice out of your black, out of your white, subtract the lower, and we'll go from there. Nine black, four black, ten black, twenty white. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. One um, white. Buck Diamond um, decides to uh, return to his former identity. He's going to put away the the identity of Mall Cop <laughs> and, and be Mall Cop. Buck Diamond, the Mall Cop. <laughs> um, but he also joins the uh, the cult as well. This is part <laughs> of it. Like he he learns more about the cult and and learns. Gets a new perspective on Christmas and the Christmas spirit. He makes reindeer very quickly. Yes, I think. The first scene is that I am just walking through the wasteland that is the atrium now. The dead Santa. The dead and dying reindeer. <laughs> the reindeer poop everywhere. The cookies that got spilled from the second floor. <laughs> and the graffiti many. everywhere. I, and I realize, I quit. I, I just cannot do this anymore. <laughs> I, need, I just need to go. This is over. Just walk away. The next couple of days, like, I am not at the, uh, when they do finally have the nativity thing, I am not there. Mm -hmm. And at the next, the next Sunday, I can see all of the glares because word has gotten around mm -hmm. about everything, almost everything that happened. <laughs> gotcha. Do you keep the gun? No. No. I, I don't even touch it. Um... Yeah, I, I do I do get promoted. I get promoted to to secondary elf to elf on the shelf and mm -hmm. the children love the store and and yes. And it appears I have saved Christmas for these children.
Um, so the very first thing that I do is uh, quit the cult. Um, I tell them, I'm, I'm done. Um, I was posing anyway. Oh. It, it, you know, it's not going to define me as a person. It's time for me it to, was, to grow up. It was just a phase. The new boss of the mall... Uh, when he's brought in, doesn't real like he just doesn't realize how completely inept Buck Diamond is. But uh, he just knows that Buck's been there for seventeen years, so he just assumes this guy, this guy must be must really know what he's doing. So he promotes me to like like you know the senior staff of uh, the mall cops. So I'm like the the head mall cops of the other mall cops that are in the mall, of which only, we never saw. Yeah, yeah, only only like like a few other people are even mall cops. So it's not Many like I have. Many of them are now searching for new positions elsewhere. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. But I but I have gotten a raise. I was able to um, convince him. I now no no. I'm making seven seventy five. No, nice. oh yeah, double what I wanted. So I'm really excited. That's how math works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is uh, rather awkward <clears throat> next Sunday. Um. I definitely don't make eye contact with you, um, and I start to. Kind Are you of, surprised he's alive? <laughs> you left him to die. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> thought he was going to die. <laughs> left him for dead. He probably remembers that and holds it against me. <laughs> the lights stay a little bit dimmer <laughs> after the worship Maybe. service. Yeah. Maybe. Um, and I think I start. I start just dropping out of church. Church activities. I, I don't lead the choir as often, or, or do organize things as much. I'm not a I'm not not as an active community member anymore. I've just started drawing in on myself. I switch. I change churches. I liquidate all of my assets, and I get a new, a brand new life in a different city. Where were we? It's in a metroplex, so it's like one city over. Oh, okay, I gotcha. So it's like going from Plano to Allen. Yeah, basically. Okay. <laughs> I sell my store to the next. Next prospective elf, and uh, move to the the headquarters of the cults, where I am revered, and and uh, hang out with Tom Cruise. To. No, not Tom Cruise. Tim Allen. Yes. Tim Allen would be a poster boy for your oh, cult. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Starting in the same and, and, and yeah. Right, right. Because hmm? that that elf movie. You probably teach him how to read. Oh yeah, yeah. We'll teach him how to read. <laughs> He's, 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 he does make it up to me near pretty fast. Oh, fantastic. Which I'm credited for <laughs> as a great teacher, obviously. Scared straight. Uh, the artist formerly known as Stitch decides to um, use his talents at the giant cookie store in the mall. <laughs> Uh, at which point his product is so revered that he is quickly promoted to manager of the store. After being taught how to read um, and some time passes, <coughs> Buck decides that um, he's willing to go back to school and get his uh, high school diploma. Doesn't quite realize that he's not supposed to just go right back into high school, you know, at his age. Um, but he's 45. But uh, he somehow is able to, just by sheer luck, and they take pity on him, and they just assume that he must be mentally retarded. They decide to let him back into the school as though he is a high school student. And eventually, uh, with a solid C average and a bunch of tutoring, Buck manages to pass high school. What's his SAT score? Um, his, his SAT score is, is a solid uh, 900. Is that good? No, wait, wait. What's the total now? 2,400? I guess I have 2,400. What yeah. do you get for getting putting your name, signing your name? <laughs> that much, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's, that's, that's about how much you get. No, actually, actually, Buck puts, writes down like C's or like whatever for every single answer. So just, just by sheer chance, he gets some right, but he has an extremely low score. Christopher starts a new job. He he realizes that he doesn't want to deal with people anymore. <laughs> people were the problem. Diamond, Stitch, all these people in the mall were the problem. <laughs> so he starts a farm and raises reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, business is going exceedingly well, like really well. And then the say inquisition into the events at the mall... Um, brings up a discarded gun and shell casing in a certain person's store. There's no license on the gun. The um, you know, serial numbers have been filed off of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Rather poorly. Yeah, so it can't really be identified, but basically they know it's no longer... And so they basically just describe it to me. And the ensuing court fees and issues <laughs> with... Uh, being in and out of temporary holding, that kind of thing, I lose the new business. 
They are so pleased with me at the headquarters of the cult that I am sent to the North Pole and welcomed into Santa's court with open arms. I'm going someplace with this. Yeah. But I'm extremely <laughs> happy, and I'm at the North Pole. It's warm okay. and beautiful. Nice. It is. <laughs> it is. There are colors, and, and candy literally does grow on trees, <laughs> and the reindeer really do eat sugar cookies, and they don't get sick or anything because they're magical reindeer. This is that clearly one. like delusion from the cold. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, uh, I'm at the North Pole yes. with Santa. Yes, yes. <laughs> His wife wants to adopt me. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Stuart, which is uh, Stitch's real name. Not Lilo? No. Uh, <laughs> he, Le- Leland Stuart. Right. Short Lilo. Yeah, yeah, Stu- right. Stuart Leland. Yeah, the Stuart. Yeah, there you go. Um, he, <laughs> he actually um, is very quickly elected to the uh, team of managers at the food court as the representative to lobby for uh, better representation at the the meetings and, and better contracts um, because it's such a draw for the mall. The mall is not doing well with all the scandals. Um, <laughs> and it's... Uh, I, I decide that uh, the, the way to handle this is to take advantage of all the gullible uh, Christmas goers, and by the very next year, uh, Santa's actually in the food court and uh, saves financially the mall. Man, you turned quick on the cult's teachings. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wear a full three-piece suit now. <laughs> and you're like 15? 16 now. <laughs> yeah. Armed with this new high school diploma, Buck is able to find a different job at the mall, uh, he's moving on up. He's working at the Orange Julius, and he managed to, to he manages to work himself all the way up to uh, the manager through sheer luck and uh, completely somehow bumbling his way through. So now he's managing the Orange Julius and making I don't know like thirteen bucks an hour or something. He's feeling on top of the world for now. Still, he actually, has an, he actually has an apartment now, right? Oh, I actually have a place to live. Yes, yeah. I have a place to live, and but but I'm feeling. I'm feeling a longing, we'll say. Having <laughs> having finally managed to clear up everything else and standing there where basically all I have now is uh, a couple months rent on, on, on my apartment, um, there's a knock at my door, guys holding a, an envelope. <clears throat> and I'm being sued for five years of back taxes on a business that I liquidated <laughs> and did not properly report. Uh, you didn't have the lease. Right. <laughs> so, having no records of anything else, I am I am sent. I am locked away for tax fraud. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks to me. Thanks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your reindeer. <laughs> They're very nice. So, so Mr. and Mrs. Claus do adopt me, and I become the princess of Christmas, and I'm very, very happy. The doctors don't have much hope, but they think maybe eventually, with a lot of uh, more drugs, I might maybe recover someday. <laughs> you might wake up. Maybe. But I'm really very happy, so it's very unlikely. <laughs> I'm glad I did not eat those gingerbread foods. <laughs> 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 they were made with love yeah. and magic. Magic. <laughs> Having saved the mall and become one of the um, most prestigious people involved in it, uh, it's... Pretty easy for me to finish high school early, get a full scholarship, um, go get a business degree, and um, quickly simply take over the mall and begin running it. You turned corporate. I went corporate. Um, Traitor. You have the best art displays of any mall in the area. Yes, and that's the draw. That's the great draw. (laughs) But the truth is, all the Christmas at this mall is hollow. There's no soul it's the best Santa, everybody knows it. It's the best art, everyone knows it. But the truth is, as I sit in my office... My office? Staring at the monitor, watching all the joy and the elves and everything, I just sit back and I go, We wish you a Merry Christmas. <laughs> we wish you a Merry Christmas. A bearded old man at the age of 22. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Happy bottom line. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm managing the Orange Julius, and this is now in the same mall that that, <laughs> that Stuart Leland is. And I and I feel you don't recognize him at all. <laughs> no, I, 
I, oh, of course you, he would for sure. Yeah. He will in a minute. So I, I, but I feel a longing, even though I have an apartment now and I have a better job and I'm doing well financially. And I've, I've, I've just, just through sheer like, like, um, being lax with dues, I'm out of the cult just by like sheer luck again. But I have to go back to the, to the mall cop life. I feel the, the, the calling, <laughs> the pull to being a mall cop. And I decide that by day I will be the manager of the Orange Julius, but by night I will, I will become the mall cop. And while you're sitting there feeling sorry for yourself, looking at the, the because you have the monitors, the monitors in front of you, yeah. see, you see, like, you see uh, um, something that gives you a glimmer of hope for this holiday season. <laughs> you see what looks like a guy wearing a, a tight-fitting mall cop uniform. <laughs> He's um, put on weight over the years. He's put on more weight, but I'm wearing <laughs> the same wear uniform. But I'm wearing the same uniform, and I've got the, like, sock that I, the, the sock. The same oh, sock. Yeah. sock. <laughs> and I'm, it's never and been I'm wearing it. Yes. Yes, and I'm posing in front of one of the the uh, mall displays. Merry Christmas, everyone! We roll credits. <laughs> <laughs> that was sad. <laughs> what a fiasco! Yep. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone for hanging in there with us and for joining us for the backwardcompatible.com podcast episode number fifty-four, our Ooh. holiday special. We promise we don't hate Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy yeah, Kwanzaa. Christmas. <laughs> or a uh, happy December 25th if you don't ascribe to any of those. So And a new year. I'm Chris. I'm Jen. I'm Brian. I'm Will. Sarah. And uh, And we'll see you guys next time. Happy holidays. <laughs> but we want you to join the discussion on our website, backward-compatible.com. You bring unique perspective, and dialogue makes everyone better. This time, tell us what games you gave and were gifted this holiday season. Thanks for listening. Until next time, stay compatible. Wow. Well, now that we're not broadcasting, yeah, we're not really still, not broadcasting. No, we, we are. We're, we stop now. Uh, we all want to save the uh, recording too. Yeah, we're that is going to be an channel. awkward conversation with mom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she actually tweeted about something. Did you see it? Oh, she, no, I did I not. I thought you said she didn't have a she, Twitter. She, she, she probably did. just started one right now. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. You do now.